Cool. Well, hello and welcome everyone. This is The Capsule. Um, we are here at Red Bull Dance Your Style at The Scoop. We are in the Champion Store right now. Um, we're going to be interviewing some of the contestants today, some of the special guests and uh, seeing how it all went down. Hello, how's it going? Hi, it's going good. Yeah, good. I'm quite exhausted. Yeah, I bet you fun. just finished battling, right? Yeah, but we have like uh, another round to go through, so... Okay, so <laughs> can you introduce yourself for the people at home, your name, kind of, uh, you're in a uh, Vogue house? Yes, forum? Yeah. Vogue, yes. Yeah. Um, hi, my name is Yara. I'm in a house of Revlon. Um, I dance New Way Vogue. Lovely. This is like my first time doing an event like like this, oh, like yeah? an all-star battle. I'm more used to like ballroom style battles, like in an actual Vogue ball. But yeah. this is quite interesting. It's very it's very different, but it's fun. So. How are you finding what's the differences that you're finding doing this? So the thing is is that when you're when you're walking a ball, um, usually you have to kind of like dance in front of the judges. So there's mm. a set amount of judges, an uneven number. And when you battle, you kind of battle your opponent at the same time instead of ah. going in rounds. So it's not like you're performing for the crowd necessarily, even though you are. Yeah. You're more kind of just like battling for the attention of the judges that are sitting at the table. And yeah, mm. it's, whereas here, it feels like you are on stage performing for a crowd of people. Yeah, so. because obviously, if anyone that doesn't know, the, the rules of Dance Your Style is that the judges will be the audience, basically, and everybody has a blue and a red bandana. Yeah. Depending on which side you're on, they hold up the one. So um, you, how did you do in your first battle? Uh, I managed to win. Yes, lovely. Uh, yeah. Who did you have again? Um, SEJ. Okay, lovely. Yeah. Um, she was a very strong opponent. I was quite yes. nervous. I was like, okay, I have to, I have to do well. Um, and I guess I did. Well, clearly. The yeah, crowd the crowd liked, liked it, it. I guess. Yeah. So yeah, but I'm not gonna lie. The music wasn't really on my side <laughs> this <laughs> round. So I'm hoping that the the next few tracks will be more up my alley. Yeah. So, and yeah. what sort of tracks are you hoping for? What would be the ones that would like? Because well, obviously, also for Dance Your Style, it's all popular music yeah, and stuff, totally. so what is it in your realm? Well, uh, when you walk a ball, usually you kind of dan you kind of perform to like house beats, so mm. house music okay. is very prominent in the ballroom culture. Okay. Um, I was hoping for, if it's like chart music, I was hoping for some Beyonce. Uh, but oh, the new album? New album, yeah. Fair enough. But maybe in the next round, <laughs> who knows? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> we'll see. We'll keep your fingers crossed, we'll um, slip some money to the DJ and see what they can do. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. And um, how are you finding that the, the Vogue and ballroom culture is like, are you able to get it across here? Are you finding that you need to kind of do certain things to translate it for the audience or are you kind of keeping it as it is? Good question. I'm kind of just, I don't know. I feel like it's really difficult to convey what ballroom is and just like an old style styles battle. Sure. Um, so I'm kind of just like doing what I can do well and just um, performing for the crowd and yeah just like deep down hoping that they like it. So yeah. I'm just doing it really. I, it's really difficult to showcase the authenticity of something that is so specific like ballroom culture via an event like this. 100%. So. And I think the the movement is, is built into the culture. So it's hard to remove the movement without kind of yeah, exactly. And it's like the thing is, is that the bo the ballroom culture is not just all about dance. Like there's so many more categories. Like you can um, compete, you can like uh, walk categories like runway where you're just walking and showing mm. your outfit. You can just uh, show your face and that's a separate category. Um, so yeah, it's not just about dancing. So that's I feel like that's another difference to an event like this because it's all dance. It's right. just different styles whereas ballroom yeah. culture. It's like so many different categories that you can partake in. So. Yeah. Cool, and so first round done, on to the second round. Do you know who you have yet? Yes, I have Omni, so I'm terrified, but <laughs> to be honest, I'm like, I'm just gonna roll with it. Of course. And I'm gonna do my best, and yeah, I mean, he's lovely, I've already met him, so I'll yeah. be happy to lose to, lose to him. So. Yeah, I think, you know, that's the thing, when everybody's good people, then it's, uh, yeah, you know, exactly. it's all enjoyable. Everyone is super talented, obviously, we were all selected for a reason. So, yeah, of course, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And um, last one, is there anything that you're kind of learning from the battle now? Obviously, you've only been in one so far. Yeah. Is there anything that you're doing that, you know, you're going to maybe take back to the ballroom and be like, oh, when I perform, I can actually use these skills that I'm picking up here? 
I guess what I could do in the future from this, maybe to interact with the audience more, because mm. when you walk out of walk a ball, your your main focus is the judges on the right. panel. Mm-hmm. You don't really pay attention to the crowd because obviously the judges decide who wins. Right. <laughs> yeah. But perhaps maybe I can try and interact with the audience, and then hopefully judges will then like that. But mm, yeah. it's difficult because obviously it's such different environments. But. Of course. Yeah. Amazing. Well, good luck for the rest of the day. Thanks. Um, hope you get through many, many more rounds. Hopefully, we'll see. <laughs> Um, but yeah, good luck and thanks for coming in and chatting with us. My pleasure. Cheers. Um, what's up, bro? How are you? Chilling, man. Lovely. Nice. Um, do you want to introduce yourself for the lovely people at home? Well, <laughs> my name is Gary, aka Quake. I am a 19 year old dancer. I do hip hop and front. Uh, yeah, basically that's it. That's my Sick. Name. Is there a, I don't know the answer to this, but is there some sort of crew you're representing? I don't know. Uh, <laughs> there I might be, I don't also, know. I'm also part of um, UPG, the All Star Collective, um, and I'm part of the Outliers crew. Sick. Which is a crump crew. Yeah. Lovely. Uh, how's it going? How did you do in your first battle? Um, my first battle, I lost against Dylan, but I feel like I don't really care that I lost really because yeah audience judge you had never really time. think but I personally had a good time and I feel like That's what it's all the about. audience felt me so yeah and you actually killed it because you entered the online prelim then came yesterday and entered the, the qualifier person, yeah, yeah, yeah. and how did you do yesterday uh, yesterday I qualified um, I did two battles so I didn't have to do the four to smoke okay because you won the first two battles yeah, right yeah, yeah. and then that's what brought you here today yeah, yeah, yeah. and you're an invite from last year uh, nah, I wasn't an invite last year. I qualified oh, you last qualified year. last year. Oh, so you've been qualified. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, may- maybe an invite next year. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> That's sick. So you've been, yeah, you did a great job uh, last year as well, I yeah. think. So how did, you, was there anything that you did last year or learned from last year that you were like, okay, I'm prepared for this year to bring it? I feel like the thing that I learned most from last year was um, that you need to, you need to perform. At the end of the day, it's a, it's a, it's a space where a lot of the people watching don't really understand dance as it is Mm -hmm. but because I'm a crumper and the way I crump isn't really conventional as well okay it's sometimes hard for for members of the general public to like to like understand my movement sure so really I was really trying to focus on clarifying having like clarifying moments and and having like engagement with the with the crowd Mm -hmm. in order to like sway them in a way yeah yeah but yeah that's what I took most from last year because last year same, same, same position. I got to the same position, but okay. About, about people who know how to move, you get me. So, yeah, and it's always taught me something. I know I'm going to come back from this and be working. Yeah, yeah, yeah working yeah. on it. Yeah, but is yeah. there stuff that you kind of picked up today that you would uh, maybe next time implement, or is there stuff that maybe you would take back to normal battles or crump battles that you would implement there? Um, I'd say the idea of composure. Like, mm. I feel like. In this, in this, in this scenario, because of how 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 high profile it is, and like everyone knows what the prize is and how big the prize is. And yeah. even even uh, outside of the prizes, we've got a big audience here because yeah. for people that can't see, obviously you might see from some of the footage, we're at the scoop uh, right by London Bridge, I yeah, guess. Yeah, yeah. And there's a big big audience here. A lot, a lot of, people of people passing by. It's a beautiful day. So. Yeah, there's a lot of... Uh... The pressure is on. <laughs> I, it, it really taught me that in them situations, and especially because if you qualify, you also have to go first. Ah, uh, I didn't so, know that. Yeah, so it's... yeah. You so if you're a on, wild card, you go second. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You get put on yeah. either red side or blue side, yeah. and they say red side always goes first, and all the, all the qualifiers on the red side. Go first. Yeah, Interesting. so... And that was the first battle, so... Oh, and, wow. and it really taught me that even if the pressure's piled on, you need to really focus on keeping yourself composed and putting out your movement in a way in the way that you want to get mm. me really really still have that still have that selectiveness about how you display stuff yeah especially as a crumper in an all-style setting because yeah even if it wasn't mainstream music you probably wouldn't hear a crump track in an all-style setting so True. you need to ad- apply that to all so how what like, are you aspects. doing that's uh how are you able to compose yourself is there stuff that you do that um helps you keep composed there's certain things you're thinking about or strategies or um i wouldn't say i wouldn't say i say actually there are there are like strategies that you know just as a as a battler in general you get me it's more about keeping keeping your mind at ease you okay me? being in the in the heat of, of situations like this you step on stage get a cheer from the crowd and then everything that you were thinking about is just <laughs> yeah, yeah you get yeah, me yeah. so really trying to like stay in control 
at all times. Yeah. So that you show what you want to show, you get me? Because the more in control you are, the more it reads. Right, so it's more about controlling your brain and then being able to come up with the creative ideas exactly. from like, being calm. I feel like for me, because because freestyle is something that I do like basically every day, yeah. it's not hard for me to, to, to put things together and, and come up with movement. Or like movement second nature yeah but ordering that and and and, and like defining what movement i want to put out and things like that mm. in situations like that you need to think about that you get me like especially yeah. if you find yourself falling into like patterns because that happens yeah quite a lot as well is there stuff that you've been kind of keeping an eye on or noticing that the crowd today are liking are they liking certain music or certain types of movement or is there things that you know um, you think that other dancers should maybe keep an eye on as they progress through? I feel like with the crowd, I feel like they, they, they like what they know. Mm. If you do something with confidence that they know, like Omni bopped out, was hitting this, yeah. everyone went crazy. Like recognisable you know I mean? yeah. moves. That's one thing. Mm -hmm. And then having, having, that, having that confidence and stage presence as well, that read that always reads yeah. well. I'm a person that, that believes that if you believe in yourself, everybody will believe in you because- 100%. You get me? So if you have that presence as well, that's another thing that will help you win over the, the audience. Yeah, 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 100%. Because I think you can see if somebody's nervous when they're standing on stage exactly. and they're not confident. And exactly. even, I mean, you know, it's maybe a bit more, we take it for granted, but even just having someone facing you, yeah, yeah, like yeah, if yeah. you're not used to that, we had uh, Yara here just a minute ago, and he was saying with the um, Vogue, it's like straight on to the judges and they're dancing at the same time. Yeah. So with us, we're always battling yeah, like yeah, one yeah, against yeah. each other, but if you've never had that before, it's that that's already yeah, yeah, exactly yeah. got someone watching you. and then the crowd cheering on top yeah, it's yeah, like yeah. oh my god this is a lot yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. lovely so what are you doing for the rest of the day you're hanging around you're gonna enjoy everything obviously my boy Kane yeah is still in lovely so I'm gonna go support him same crew him. right yeah yeah shout out to UPG. Kane yeah. hopefully we can get him over here to uh, have a chat with us so, um, yeah just but gonna yeah. be supporting rooting for him in a moment yeah yeah but Bo, just chilling. shout out to you you've done a great job always um and yeah catch you soon love man Dave. hey bro how's it going it's been going good to be honest <laughs> wonderful wonderful how's things uh you just had your first battle right yeah good and how did you do i did best of what i could have done i yeah. felt like um i was more kind of focused on the round rather than inwards so okay. i felt like i did what i did it was an amazing battle, it was an amazing opportunity, I loved every amazing. part of it. But I don't regret anything. Yeah, oh, yeah. that's the best way to be. Yeah. That's wonderful. I came with no expectations, so I literally, like, I had nothing to kind of be down or up about. I was yeah. just even happy to even be here. So, yeah, that's amazing. Yeah, literally. Great. And just uh, give everyone a little background about you. What do you do? Actually, we haven't introduced you. What's tell them your name, oh. a bit about what you do and your kind of usual, where you come from, what sort of things you usually do. Okay, so um, my name is Flo. Um, I'm a professional dancer and I teach. Um, what else do I do? My styles are experimental, hip hop. Nice. Um, and yeah, I'm from France, Egypt, and Congo. Amazing. It's a little bit weird, mix. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. No, I've been dancing for 16 years. Okay. And much. what sort of uh, background would you say that you have? Is it you work in more the hip hop uh, zones or more the commercial zone, or where where do you find yourself more? So I feel like um, I'm normally in the hip hop zone. I'm mm -hmm. kind of. I've been kind of far away from the scene. Okay. So now little by little, I'm just trying to get my foot in there, yeah. little piece by piece, kind nice. of have fun with the whole battle scene and whatnot. So yeah, pretty much. Sick. And how did you find yourself at Dance Your Style today? Did you qualify? Were you a wild card? How did you get there? Um, so yesterday we had the qualifiers and then um, I qualified and won through the battles. Nice. So yeah, um, so we qualified yesterday and then we came through today. So yeah, no, it was amazing. I'm, I'm still yesterday. I'm still mind blown. Like, yeah. I'm still pinching my skin. Kind of. yeah. It doesn't feel real because I don't normally battle. To qualify, you had to win two battles, right? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, and I've seen so many numbers, like up to 86. So I was like, already, I'm As scratching my head. Like the amount was, of people that yeah, entered. That was oh, entered. Wow. So it was. I didn't even expect it to be honest. So I'm just. Just humble. Amazing. Humble. So out of 80 something dancers, yeah. you made it out of. It's like seven people or eight people that they took I think through. They, I think they picked six people yesterday. Six people, wow. Yeah, and okay. then today they had the wild cards and the online submission, so it was the rest of everyone else. Amazing, amazing. And currently we have uh, Dylan and Camille going on. Um, how are you enjoying the other battles so far? Are you enjoying watching as well? I'm enjoying I'm enjoying the whole event. I can't lie, since I'm out of it now, I can kind of just watch and appreciate everything. Yeah. I'm also hearing the beat at the same time, so yeah. yeah. Uh, definitely, I'm just going to watch the whole event, enjoy it, have fun, and yeah. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Yeah. Um, and after today, are you feeling like you're bringing back some motivation to go into the next battles? 
I can't like after today. I feel like today is the battle that kind of made me fall in love with bowling. Normally oh, I kind of find it like a chore. Sure. Like, I'm a little bit, all my friends are like, oh, just do it, just do it. Mm -hmm. It's never kind of me thing. So today it was kind of like a step outside my comfort zone and, and like finally find enjoyment out of it. So I feel like I'll carry on now. Is there something particular that made you feel like that today? Or what was it? I felt like, um, I don't know, to be honest with you, I felt like uh, yesterday, especially when I was dancing, I felt, I felt like I was, I had expectations from other people. Mm. So it wasn't really, I wasn't really dancing for myself. I was okay. dancing to impress. Right. So yesterday I kind of wanted, you wanted to, to get through. I wanted to get through and right. whatnot, but then I kind of took the approach of, let me just dance for myself and have fun because win or lose regardless, it's another day, another event. You'll have fun. Exactly. So I mean, life doesn't stop in that one exactly. battle. So yep. after that, I just kind of stuck with me and I feel like now it's just having fun. Amazing. Literally. I think that's a great lesson because I think yeah. Also, if you feel like that for you, we as the audience feel yeah. that you're enjoying it and you're dancing for yourself yeah, and then we love watching you more, yeah. you know? I think sometimes when we go overboard trying to please an audience, yeah. then they don't quite, it's like, oh, he's trying too hard, I don't know if yeah. I'm on his side. <laughs> Literally, yeah. But I think you did a great job, man, really, really good. Thank and I think it was a super close battle. Yeah. Obviously, the, the decision went the way it was, but I yeah. think, yeah, man, keep doing what you're doing because I think it's I'm it's excited awesome. and I'm going to see her battle as well, so yeah. Awesome. Amazing event. Bro, thanks for being here. Catch you soon. Thank you. Take thanks, care. All righty then. Do you want to give a little introduction for the people at home that don't know you? What's your name? What sort of style do you do? What's your background? Cool. Um, my name is Delon. Um, my style is Afro. Uh, more Afro fusion, a mixture of different styles within the Afro community. Lovely. I am Nigerian myself, so most of my style is straight from the roots. Lovely. You know, playing streets of Nige. Nice. Is that where you learned to dance or? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah amazing. That's so um, uh, I went back. I've, I didn't go back home for a while, so okay. back to Nige for a while. But I recently went. Yeah. Um, like December, and I was so inspired. I, I, I took bet. so much. Yeah. I took so. They were teaching me. I was <laughs> like. Yeah. Damn, how do you not do this? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I literally just took everything and brought it to the UK. And obviously I've been amazing. training Afro for a while yeah. um, with Home Bros. Yes, so oh, part amazing. Of home fam. Um, so I literally brought my Nige element and took it into my style. What was there stuff that when you when you got there that you weren't expecting to learn from there? Or was so, it kind of stuff that you knew and you just improved a bit on? A bit of both. Okay. Okay, so um, in Nige, a lot of a lot of grooves are brought to the UK mm. and brought to other different countries within Europe, but yeah. it's very washed. Okay. So they don't do it as authentic as it's done back home. So there's a lot of energy, a lot of like aggression, a yeah. lot of just yeah. spirit, let's put it that way. Yeah. Like they just lose everything when they're performing and when they're dancing. And over here, it's just kind of chilled and more vibe, yeah. which is good, but then you need to have a mixture of both. You need to get the authentic style and then be able to mix it with the smooth and dangerous yes, style. Yes, yes, yeah. Amazing. So I definitely, I took a lot of that and then there's a lot of grooves that a lot of people didn't know the name of over here okay so i literally took it there so that when i'm teaching here i'll be able to teach others so kind of like brushed up on the terminology yeah. and all these type of things. Yeah, amazing yeah, yeah, which yeah. is obviously really important when we're translating dance styles especially from other countries yeah. let alone even the ones here yeah yeah yep, amazing yep. So, so how did you find yourself at dance your style were you a wild card did you qualify um so i qualified i was amazing. one of the qualifiers um so it was <laughs> it's an experience for me because I've never actually battled. No way! This is never. your first time. <laughs> Congrats! Like, thank you so much. Well done. So we've had um, like Afro dance battles yes, and things yeah, like yeah. that, but like there was a small community-based stuff that's still growing. And I guess in those, everyone kind of understands your movement yeah. and is used to it, so it's yeah. it's not as much putting yourself out there as exactly, something like this. Exactly, exactly. So and within um, this um, program. Afro is not really seen a lot mm. or in most all styles but you, you don't really see Afro yeah so um, recently I think last year was like the first time we had that Afro vibe um, at like a finals yes this year we had like four people representing Afro and I just happened to be one of them yeah. for me that's crazy and for it being my first time I've been able to take Afro this far I'm truly grateful that's amazing that's amazing so how did you do in your first battle cool so um, it was I was up against a very talented <laughs> very very talented well-known um freestyler and battler um he was a wild card so you already know that he, <laughs> he was already here so I, ha I just had to literally just show what i have and everything i give um who was it for the record it was, for the people at home yeah. it was kane yes kane, lovely kane. kane um young but 
crazy. When Kane he's dancing. Is, uh, yeah, he's been battling a lot recently, really seasoned the battle up. Yep, yep, yep. So he literally looked at me and thought, okay, cool. I'm not going to try and just give you everything in terms mm. of my style. I'm okay. going to see how you dance. I'm going to vibe with you. And I'm going to show you how I can use your style and just play with it. Okay. Or how can, I can use your music and play with it mm. and listen to the tracks. And I was like, I was so inspired. I'm so rude because so, me, I was just like, yeah, let's go, Afro. Yeah, Andrew. yeah. Da, 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 that energy, Vim. Obviously, smooth here and there, just understanding the music. Sure. Um, then obviously they're gonna play tracks that I don't know, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> tracks that like old school hip hop yeah. tracks, and I'm just there like, let's yeah. go. What do I need to this? Literally. Yeah. So, but obviously, to come here, you have to kind of be mentally prepared. Yeah. So sure. I made sure I was mentally prepared for stuff like this. So I just gave it my all, and to be fair, like I'm even happy just with the way the crowd were reacting to the fact that I was able to show my style yeah. on a different track and they loved it. They really enjoyed yeah, it. seemed like the crowd really enjoyed the dancing, yeah. Yeah, so I, it, was, it, was a, it was very good. Great experience, honestly. Amazing, amazing. Is there things that you kind of, now having been on stage, are there things that you realise that you weren't prepared for or when you get on there, you're like, ah, oh, this is something I'm going to learn for next time or what, what kind of have you picked up? <sighs> okay, so I need to remember that I'm battling. Right. That's what I need to remember that I'm battling. Cause As opposed to doing kind of performing. Yeah, because right. I'm so used to just being like a crowd pleaser. Right. Do you know what I'm saying? So I'm used to just performing. Mm -hmm. So when the, I'm used to be like, oh yeah, you lot see me. Da -da 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 -da. But then I was like, oh snap, I need to battle him. Do you know what I'm saying? And he was doing things in the background because he knows what he needs to do. If, if you're not battling him, he's going to take the mick out of you. So there was a moment I was dancing. I was like, hey, hey. But I noticed nothing's really like, Hitting. hitting with the crowd yeah, yeah so and now then turn around and he's like hello i'm Making over people here laugh, right, right. i was like oh <laughs> damn. i was like you know what? i need to write this down i need to remember i'm battling forget the audience just do your thing towards him play with the audience a bit but be able to just direct it yeah don't forget yeah i mean it is hard because battles are hard because even performing is hard when you've got a bunch of people let alone having one person in front of you but all the audience to one side and you're like wait yeah. how does this go it does take a while yeah 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 but it's definitely been an experience and something i'm gonna take home because yeah, there was something i needed 100%. yeah do you think uh this is how do you feel about the kind of platform and having afro on these type of platforms and getting it out to more people yo this is crazy like so during the qualifiers um obviously people didn't know who i was people didn't know what the heck i was gonna do so i came out there my prelims and i saw how people vibe it felt like they needed it do you get what i'm saying so the fact that afro was accepted in such a like it means a lot do you get what i'm saying obviously it's a style that is known by some but now it seems to be known by all mm. there's certain groups certain moves that you see around and it feels like they're accepting afro more and more and i'm truly appreciated for that um what's it called and i just hope to just see afro grow really amazing literally. yeah and i think stuff like this does help like the more you can i mean stuff like tiktok is i think is big for afro right it's like a oh, big 100%. spreader of the the kind of movement but i guess there might be a certain thing that you lose mm -hmm. when you're on your phone that you get the, in real life do you know what i mean and 100%. it's like i think seeing it here is a different and they might even recognize it from yep. you know the yep, general yep, audience yep. might be like oh i've seen some Absolutely. moves like that mm -hmm. on tiktok mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but seeing it here you see the different elements and you feel more the vibe of it i yep. think you know 100 percent. like fam afro is on on the phone afro is nice and smooth and something you can do vibey chill but there's two elements of Afro. Right. There's, it's a social dance, okay. you know what I'm saying? It's yeah. it stemmed from being a social dance. But then being, being able to take a style into like battles and things like that, you need to take that socialness and turn it into greediness. You need mm. to bring different energy, different vibe, and show people that there's more to just vibes and socials with yeah. Afro, that you can actually use this for a lot of things. You know what I'm saying? You can use it to go crazy. Yeah. You yeah. can use it to be chilled. You can use it to be cheeky. Like there's so many things that Afro has, and I'm happy that it's being showcased now on stage instead of just on the phones like oh yeah little you know, oh, yeah, because I you could that. i guess you could also get like boxing as like almost like a gimmicky kind of style yes. unless you show people the real range of the exactly. the whole style and the culture around it they might just think oh that's a cute move yeah as opposed yep. to like oh this is a real culture and people like live and breathe just that thing mm -hmm. you know like you said when you went back to nigeria right yep yep lit fat i'll be <laughs> going back to that um they they literally breathe Afro. There's other styles, there's so many like lockers, um, 
poppers, crumpers, but Afro, they live and breathe it. Obviously, it's where it embedded from for them. Um, but is there also like a sense of pride where they realize it's like now it's a worldwide movement, mm-hmm. but they're like, oh, we started this. It came from here. 100%. So it's like they're almost re, revitalized in the start. You know what I mean? Like yep, re-enthusiastic. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> like, listen, <laughs> they like, I love, I love like the way they take that. They're very, there's a lot of pride with it because they know that they own it. It's a style that yeah. they do so well. And obviously sometimes when they see it on the phone, they're like, oh, come on, man. Yeah, right, you know right. Saying? It's not, like, it's this so is not what it actually started from. Sure. This is not where it stemmed from. This is all like just gimmicky stuff, but this is what we live, this is what we eat from. Do you get what I'm saying? And I'm I'm honestly happy that I've been able to go there, come here, I mean able to bring that to such a stage. Do you get yeah. what I'm saying? Um, and I know that they have their own Red Bull events up in Nigeria. They, they yeah. Yeah, oh, they, they have a Nigeria one? Yeah, yeah. Oh, one amazing. Of, quite a few of my friends, they were like, yo, bro, you're in the qualifiers. Yeah, I was Sick. like, oh. It was amazing. So they have their own over there, but you have every style there. Like, right. it's literally just like this, every style. Mm. But then they're making sure that Afro is what is shining. And if once they travel abroad to South Africa for like whoever wins and stuff, Hopefully, I want to be able to be like, let me meet you there. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that, that's yeah, the sort sure. of energy. Like, whoever's representing Af- Afro, I want them to be able to, like, let's all go to South Africa, represent Afro, and show Afro to the world. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? And you're kind of like, like united in the, even if you don't know each other, you're united in the cause in a way. Yes, 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 yes. And I, 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 I love it. I that's love it. amazing. I love it, honestly. Sick. So yes. happy to hear that. And so happy to have you here. You did an amazing job on stage. I think the audience loved it. I enjoyed watching. So thanks Thank for you. coming by and having a chat. Appreciate you, so you and catch up with you soon. 100%. Thanks, man. Um, how's it going? Do you want to actually, before we start, do you want to tell the audience at home your name, a little bit about you, maybe what you were doing yesterday here? Yeah, um, my name is Nikhil. Um, I'm, I'm a dancer. I've been dancing for almost 20 years now. I'm based in London, but I'm from Paris. So, um, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it about me. Yesterday, I was um, one of the judges of um, Red Bull's dance style. Nice. Yeah, pretty interesting to judge, you know, that type of event. Yeah. It's different, but it's nice as well because you see dancers in a, in another format. Yes. Even though, even though we, we know some dancers and we know, you know, their potentials, but seeing them in this type of environment is interesting as well to yeah, see. Yeah, yeah. And you kind of said it in a, in a humble way that, you know, I'm just a dancer, but like for people at home that don't know, Nikhil is like a super duper high level dancer, <laughs> been around some of the best dancers in the world. He is one of the best dancers in the world. So from your kind of experience on, cause you know, some of these guys, it was like their first time battling or they haven't really done that many battles they haven't been in front of this big of an audience but for you where you've been around a lot of dancers what do you find is the kind of things that work for this type of event like how could a a young dancer like really succeed here i would say definitely personality okay personality 100 percent. because um i would i saw some dancers um, when it's come to the technical aspect of dancing, yes, they were doing their thing. Yeah, but then you you could they could easily lose against mm. someone who has less technique. Yes, but more personality, more charisma on stage. So I'm not I, I don't want to undermine the technical aspect of dancing because this is very important. Sure, but being able to kind of adapt to this situ- uh, to this type of uh, environment yeah. uh, which is you know a uh, very good um, dancing style yeah. it's important to be able to have a nice balance between both yeah. and I think because yesterday even with the judges you know you guys are all experts in your field and you're you are looking at more like the technique and stuff but today they don't have judges they just have the crowd yeah. so it's like okay you might win yesterday because of, or you might qualify yesterday because of your technique and but now you know, the people that are here are not necessarily, some of people bought a ticket, but a lot of people are just walking along and just stopped. So it's yeah. like, okay, how do you impress them? Exactly. And and yeah. a lot of time, like what you're saying, it's the personality, it's the, yeah, the yeah, aura yeah. on stage, no? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I think even even the audience as well, they do, they do respond well to, to the, the technical technique. Okay. aspect uh, of mm-hmm. dancing as well. But it's just uh, finding the way of delivering this technique yes. to people who doesn't know that's dance. a really good way of putting it yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. because it's exactly that it's like when you have judges who are experts they're 
they're doing the the work to look for the technique. They're like, oh yeah, that's that, and I think that's that. But when you're just chilling and maybe you have some popcorn and it's like you have to put it out to the audience more. Yeah, and yeah, it's like, yeah, okay, yeah. I'm gonna do this technique, but I'm gonna make it easy for you to understand. Exactly, and more digestible, digestible for mm. for the um, broader audience. Yeah. yeah, and you know, I think I've spoke about this before, but I think battlers in more like the underground scene mm -hmm. could really learn a lot from this because it's like often even in the underground scene we could really do with some entertainment <laughs> yeah, yeah <laughs> we could yeah, do yeah, with somebody yeah, like yeah. making things easier because sometimes mm -hmm. people are really in their technique and it's like you know a lot of us in the underground scene are more knowledgeable mm -hmm, but it's mm -hmm. like it wouldn't hurt to have somebody that can perform and you have dancers you know obvious example is like salah and people like that yeah yeah, yeah but yeah. people that can perform for a for an audience and it's like we can still respect your technique and we're entertained you know yeah i think yeah, it's yeah. there's nowhere that it doesn't help yeah i think <laughs> i think definitely but but also it's it would be i was talking to this uh, with um camille oh yeah yeah and she she said um actually i decided to do this um yesterday okay because i wanted to challenge myself because i know it's n definitely not my comfort zone yeah and i can relate to that and yeah. i definitely agree with you because I think it's it's something that you can kind of uh, come in a mindset where okay I'm gonna give it a try just to see myself in that position. Yes. You know. Yeah, yeah. And and yeah, and that's potentially how we can learn from this as well. Hundred percent. And I think, but at the same yeah, time, right, I want to make sure that um, you know, like um, in our underground scene, like quality first. I think it's something that we still need to keep. Yes. You know, sure. being able to to um sometime go beyond the movement and really understand okay what's going on here what it did and it's very special you know yeah. and it's something that we still need to preserve in some mm. way as well you mean in terms of the technique or just the movement itself um the technique yeah yeah the technique mm. you know so, yeah because so it's like not losing that for the yeah, crowd exactly for for the crowd so yeah. yes being entertaining um is is part of the game and is we sure. are uh, ultimately entertainers as well but having this um quality of movement to present you know in yeah. our you know community is yeah it's important. It, and it's a really hard balance to yeah. keep yeah because yeah, sometimes yeah. you get too much one way too much the other way and it's yeah, yeah you exactly. have to really find that yeah i think once again it's it's all about uh, um being able to adapt to your environment yes for this type of audience yes but for us, you already know that you will be looking for, like, mm, you know, yeah. the high quality stuff. Exactly. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. It's really true because especially as dancers, you know, I think a lot to make a living, if we're going to be professional dancers, we have to adapt. We have to exactly. adapt for a video shoot, for a, a big stage performance, for a battle, which whichever way we need to, to get in to, to make a living. Yeah, <laughs> we yeah, have yeah. to adapt that way. So really learning to be adaptable is going to help you to be a more full full dancer i guess for sure for sure i think you nowadays especially nowadays you can't afford to only be a dancer yeah that's definitely or at true. least if you are going to only be a dancer you can't be one type of dancer yeah <laughs> yeah, yeah you yeah. at least have to do a lot of different things in within dance yeah, yeah but yeah, no yeah. it's true i think before you go do you, we're going to definitely do a longer interview we're gonna do a full a full interview with Nikel because he's a super old friend good friend of mine and um, super nice guy so you guys definitely want to hear him talk more but um, do you want to tell people a little bit about like the platform that you have and kind of the work that you're doing with that yeah I mean uh, I didn't I mean, even expect you that probably have uh, more followers there than here so <laughs> but <laughs> yeah. yeah just in case there's anybody here watching that doesn't know your platform um yeah it's um beyond the move beyond the move basically is um just like the name says it is i realized after dancing for like i said over 20 years one thing that keeps coming back is that when i started doing workshops and all of that i real i quickly realized that students were not necessarily asking all the time question about dance which is like technical aspect of yes. dancing all the time and i also realized that they were asking a lot of questions about the mindset of dancing but they, they didn't necessarily know uh, what uh, I mean what kind of words to put on that yeah. so meaning it would be something like hey look I don't know why when I dance in my room I feel in a certain way but when I dance in the audience and I do a pre-selection yes. for some reason I panic and I lose everything you see what I mean yeah and you're so, not gonna find the answer to that in a normal workshop exactly so this is where I started to kind of dig deeper mm -hmm. into my teaching yes. and find ways to really attach you know 
dance and still the technical aspect of dancing, but also with the mindset behind it. Because I do believe that it's at least 70% of it. So basically, that's the work that we do with Amazing. Beyond the Move. And um, it's an online platform, but also we do have you know physical events and so all that. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah. great I've, events. Yeah. yeah. And like some, some great like um, battle events which aren't public events but you put the videos online and yeah, yeah, some yeah, yeah. really like I love tuning in for these uh, for these battles as well because you bring something different out of the dancers mm -hmm. and it's uh, yeah I think everything you're doing is super dope man <laughs> I'm a big fan <laughs> bro thanks for stopping by and um, definitely catch you soon for a longer one yeah yeah, yeah I would love to Safe. All right, thanks man this. hear me all good I hear you, brother. Hey, let's go. Hey. How's it going, bro? Do you want to um, introduce yourself for the people at home, what your name is, what your background is, and what you were doing here today? Okay, so a nice little intro for myself. Yes, yeah, sir. I love that. Okay, so my name's Dwayne Noseworthy, a.k.a. Dwayne Knows He's Worthy. Hey, um, let's go. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm known for being a dancer in the industry, but like retired now for a little while, so I consider okay. myself to be an all-round entertainer, motivational sharer. I take mm. part in all types of entertainment. Nice. I love, you know, from singing, dancing, hosting, yeah. um, acting, you uh, do podcasts as well, right? I do podcasts yes, as well. Sir. Yeah, yeah. I love a podcast. Nice. You know what I mean? I love doing them. I don't really listen to much. <laughs> yeah. I'm the worst, man. I don't read books and I don't really watch or listen to much podcasts, but I love to take part. I love yeah. to share motivational positivity. Lovely, lovely. You know, like and, and I'm here today hosting for the Red Bull event. You yeah, know what so mean? you've been the main attraction I, on stage, setting everything up. I say I've been I've been the main host. Yes. I wouldn't say I'm the main attraction. Hey, but you've been you've been the glue that's holding it all together. I'll take that. We love that. I'll take that. How have you enjoyed it? How's the day been? Oh, well, I've been here two days. This is my okay, second day. So lovely. I was here yesterday for like um, the prelims. Yeah. And that was amazing. That was fire. Like the audience brought the energy. They brought everything that was, was needed. Was it as packed as this? Do you know what? I'm going to say yes, but I Sick. also don't think it was. It okay, was okay. packed yesterday. Yeah, yeah. But maybe but a bit more today. I think it was a bit more today, especially like once we really started. Whereas yesterday it was... Um, quite packed from early oh, okay. like as in before we even started the, oh, the, the competition it okay. was quite it was quite nice whereas today it got slow it's and built isn't it it's over built the over the yeah. times but it's like as soon as we started that like top 16 the audience were on fire man yeah. and it's been but today ah oh, man it's been fire bro yeah so you've seen people who were in the prelims yesterday go all the way through to today how have I you have. find how have you found the dancers like rising to the challenge and attacking the music and have they all been on it have you seen some people struggle and then push through what's give me some stories Do you know what i've seen a lot of people I've, I've seen more triumphs okay and success stories over like say the struggles yes. but what i've also seen is even if people have struggled like you said i've seen them push through and past that struggle yeah Do you know what i mean because remember this is all about dance your style and everything like whatever the dj plays they've got to dance their style to and if they're capable yeah of changing that style to suit yep. the genre of music then more power to them yep. but more often than not they're going in with whatever style it is that they're you more suit yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah yeah so and i've seen them push through and just develop their skills to match that genre of music and just entertain the crowd and and and, and, and bring that story to life through the element of dance amazing. which has been nice to see amazing yeah so you've been up close and personal you've seen everything front row any highlight moments for you from today do you know what i'm gonna say like there's, there, so it's, it's all about Omni for me. Oh, yeah. Right? Kane was amazing and yes, he's a worthy sure. champion. Yeah. He brought that heat, like, in a way where I was like, but Omni was consistently going and Kane stepped up to get that final and win that trophy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because Omni was consistently just, let's just call it what it was, he was kind of smoking everyone, bro. <laughs> you feel me? So the highlight for me today was that final and Kane kind of stepping it up and bringing it to Omni. Yeah, yeah. So it's like the finalist was like enough of a challenge to like force him to raise his game 100 thousand percent and i'm not saying that there weren't other worthy of opponents because yeah, they yeah, were yeah. but some of them got taken out early yeah and it was like ah oh, man it would have been dope to see them later on yeah but at the same time that's that's the that's the scene yeah that's the battle scene you get taken out bro you and get smoked i think what's dope is like when you see people that are already high level dancers they could just dance like they always do and it would be amazing and everyone would love it but when you see them be pushed to like think and create and what can i do to combat that and take it to another the level it's, it's not big easy tune, big tune my bad sorry Yo, but yeah can we you're shout right. out the dj <laughs> is it glade all day it, it's it's glade marie yes yeah dj glade marie She's the is only one the who's been doing it today today yeah, yeah. yesterday Killing was dj today. 3d okay man yeah. like dre 
Get me? Another killer. Another killer, but she has represented today. Blade has been killing it. Um, and there's also been DJ like Flo, who was on the, um, um, she was up here. Oh, she nice. She was on this side. Okay, okay. But yeah, it's been amazing, man, just to see the talent just step up. Yeah. Raise yeah. their game. Like you said, they could just kind of skate through. Yeah, because they're all, from the beginning, they're all amazing. Of course. So it's like they almost don't have to do anything to be amazing. But, but you know what? Being amazing isn't good enough. That's the thing There's about... There's a high-level like, competition. This is the thing about dance, your style. Because the genre of music changes, it's like now you've got to adapt your style yeah. to bring that story to life within the genre of music that's being played. Definitely. And not everyone can do that. That's a skill. There's yeah. an art form to that. I'm not someone who could necessarily do what they're doing. Right. I mean, I take, it would take some time and some practice. I'm good at sure. what I do, but because I don't dance anymore, I'm trying to plug myself, you know what I mean? But that's not my thing. Yes, yes. Do you know what I mean? But my musicality, the way that I can understand what they're doing. Yeah, yeah. I I may not yeah. personally be able to do that myself anymore, but the fact that I can understand the storytelling that they're yeah. they're telling with the um, with the uh, with through dance, yeah, 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 it's mad, bro. Yeah, I mean, uh, everyone's been amazing. It's really nice. Um, how do you find the difference, or if there are any differences between last year and this year? Do you think? We've obviously got a different roster for the most part of dancers. Yeah. Do you find that there's been like differences in how they've approached it or or even in the whole event? Here's the thing. I'm not even sure that I was here last year. Fair enough. <laughs> so I can't comment on that because, yeah, I don't think I did. I think I wasn't here for um, last ah, year, which was enough. a shame. Um, I was busy, ah. unfortunately. Sorry, <laughs> Red Bull. <laughs> That's all right. I was busy on another gig, so I, I couldn't do last year, but I'm glad to be back this year. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. I, I, rem I think the last year I did was 2019 when Kofi oh, won. Oh, wow. Okay, so to that's even better because it's maybe a bigger of a gap. So how have you seen the difference between those two years then? Well, again, I've just seen everyone. It's like they're understanding the assignment. Yeah, because <laughs> I guess I mean? maybe in 2019, was it the first time it was here? Um, was it the first? It was definitely one of the newest ones. It was one of the newest was it ones. Kofi and Savage in the final. I think so. That I think I remember that being one of. The, if it wasn't the first one, it was like first or second. Yeah, like I I know that I had done a few, but um, out of London, yeah. so that might have been the first in London. Mm. But I, I can't. I'm I'm not gonna Me try neither. and pretend don't like worry. I know. We so, don't know, guys. But I just remember that I know that myself and DJ 3D were on that one together. Yeah. And you so you're saying that they kind of now people are getting to grips with what Dante your style is about. Yeah, and, because I feel like you said I think people were just coming being amazing yeah and i think i think that's what kofi understood in 2019 that you need to dance your style and be able to adapt your style yeah it's just not good enough you come in and being amazing you have to adapt your amazing to suit the genre of music mm. and tell that story through the art of dance so the audience can participate yeah and then because ultimately they're the judges do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. The yeah, prelims, yeah. there's there's obviously we had judges yesterday taking them through to the prelims, but on the final, exactly. it's all down to the audience. So you've got to make sure that They're you on tell your that, side. Yeah, because some of them <laughs> don't even understand dance. Exactly. Some of these people are just fans of movement. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So or you, just people that walk by. <laughs> right. So like they're just going for like, how did I interpret what this person did with that piece of music? Yeah. So you've got to bring that to life. Yeah, and especially if the audience already know the song it could be even harder because there's an expectation there 100% of like what I want to see done to the song you know and that's what I loved about some of the dancers that was um that was doing it I think is it Camilla, uh, Camilla she was popping yeah. she was she oh, her great. musicality was just out of this world it's like she understood like again the assignment she under it's like she'd done her homework she had yeah. been listening to music all different types of genres so she knew how to adapt her style how to the it? genre of music that was being played yeah so again it was it was just so many people were like so much talent on the yeah. stage, man. So yeah, much talent. Really amazing. Cool. Well, thanks so much for your time, bro. Thank you, brother. Um, well done today. I know you've been talking all day long, so all I appreciate day. you yeah, doing yeah. it a little bit longer. <laughs> yeah, man. I appreciate you, man. Thanks for having um, me. Yeah. Are, you, are we staying, hanging out, partying? Do you know what, bro? I've got to go to the old 2 to go watch um, Dave Chappelle and oh, Chris Rock. Go. Get me? Oh, that's so, going to be fire. Yeah, I'm going to stay here for maybe another 10, 15 minutes. That's going to be fun. And then, yeah, I'm going to head off. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to head off and go cool. get myself ready to go there. Enjoy, bro. Catch All right, brother. Soon. Bless. Dave. Nice one. One. Horrible. I can actually hear. You can hear your can, own voice. Can I hear That's your dirty, check, dirty one, accent, two. Joe? Can I hear it? It's too deep for me. That voice. Oh god. So it's too deep for me. That voice. Go on. So, Joe, how'd you find it? Um, it was very fun. I enjoyed it. Did you enjoy it as well? Mate, I absolutely loved it. Um, shout out to Rebel. Shout out to everyone involved. Shout out to everyone. Shout out to Capsule. Um, shout out to one Kane for the dub. Kane smashed it. Omni smashed it. Everyone, everyone smashed, smashed it. it. Um, so what are your plans for the rest of the day? Uh, to party. Party, you like to party, huh? Hey, hey, this is weird, I don't like this. Yeah. How do you do this for a living, sure, Luke? Um, I don't like joking. it. Uh, the thing is, he doesn't do it for a living. Yeah. 
does it for the community. For the community. For the scene. Shout out to the capture, actually. Shout out to the capture. He's sat, he's stood <laughs> behind <laughs> that <laughs> camera, <laughs> beaming smile. Can you hear us? Oh, you can't hear what we're saying. Oh, good. <laughs> No, no, you're no, not. no, no, you're not. No, you can't no put we've this got in. brands to protect. You, you, don't have, you don't have our permission. Uh, also, who was that? Was this you? I, I was don't this like you? Voice what, does this seat lower? Is this what? Can I do that? Sorry. It's fine, it's fine height for you, though. Um, follow our socials. Uh, Max Cheshire underscore. Uh, at Monk Flip Media. Joe, you got any exciting projects coming up that you want to uh, talk no, about? No, can't, can't confirm, can't nothing, deny. What about yet? you? Nothing, mate. Just doing my thing, really. Um, <laughs> what, that's about it. Wait, no, it's, I have to, yeah. I have to go because cause if I was to sit like Luke here, yeah, you ready for this? Uh, <laughs> I've got to sit like this. Okay, fair. Honestly, fair. what do you mean pull it up? What? Oh. <laughs> do you want to sit? No. no Thank you. This is so Thank weird. You. I can be hate it. your hero, oh, baby. <laughs> I can kiss away the pain. Oh, yeah. I love it. Right. Alright, over we go? and out. Thank you. Subscribe to the capsule. Pardon? Over and out. It's been over a great day. Over and out. It's been amazing. I'm sure Luke's done some lovely interviews and I'm unwrapping. I'm going to take down the equipment for you, Luke, so you don't have a job. How the fuck is this one? Oh, there we go. I found it. Toby. Oh. Okay, I'm let's go. Let's go. Right, I'm trying. Over and out. Goodbye. Oh, still got, I still got the headphones on. All oh, right, make sure you tag me, make sure you tag me. <laughs> um, what's going on? Shall we give a little intro for the people at home? Who are you? What do you do? Uh, give them your name, all that type of thing. So, my name's Elijah. You may have recognized me from the previous podcast. I represent d -Li. It's not a dance collective, but you know, we do stuff on YouTube as well. We do a few dance challenges, but me as a dancer, I've trained with Zunation. I trained with um, Hillsong Dance as well. Yeah, if I'm forgetting someone, please, I'm sorry. <laughs> so yeah, I've trained in like multiple different styles, like locking, house, hip hop, crump a bit, and yeah. Nice, here and there. sick. And how did you find yourself in Dance Your Style today? Did you qualify? Were you a wild card? What was the situation that got you on stage? Yeah, I qualified yesterday. So I went for, yeah, the qualifiers. Yeah. yeah disqualified, did a few battles, and I got through for this finals. Sick, uh, and who did you battle in the yesterday's one? Do you remember? Yesterday's, I forgot oh, her name. spoke names. earlier. Yeah, I'm really bad with names. So oh, yeah, I'm yeah. sorry. We, I, I set you up for that one. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, you are terrible with names. Yes, but it's I battled good. Um, a lady with heels. Yes. I can't remember your name, but you have Narrowed beautiful right red heels. There. Yeah. Yes. Cool. And then I also battled Toby. He was also battling today. Lovely. I lost to Toby, but I was able to get through through the um, three to smoke. Mm -hmm. And then I battled Vendetta. I won in that battle, and then. I also battled Ooh, Cam Cam uh, Camille? Cam Camille, yeah. It's hard. Yeah, Amazing. she struck me every single time. Oh, she, she's <laughs> very, very good. But so are you. Thank um, you. And how did you do today? How did you find it? Today, honestly, I came here just for the fun of it. And honestly, it's a big experience for me because I'm a big fan of this event mm. and all things like Red Bull dance events and stuff like that. So I'm just grateful to be in the spot because last year when I came and watched the event, I was like, yeah. I need to be here. Even if I don't qualify for anything, I want to at least be in the space and put, present myself on the space. Yeah. So yeah. Sick. That's good. And how did you do in the battles? Oh yeah. Um, the battles today, I lost my first battle. However, I feel like this is a good learning curve because okay. I only recently passed my first prelim at Ground Zero yesterday. Oh, let's oh, no, two years ago. my dude. Hmm, yeah, thank nice. you. Nice. Well yeah, done. so I'm very fresh to battling and actually getting through prelims. In hip -hop. Yeah, hip hop. Sick. Yeah, so I'm very fresh to battling, so this is a great learning experience for oh, me to know yeah. how to structure my rounds and just see from here how I can improve to the future. Definitely, and what have you picked up from today? Is there any, I know I might need a yeah. bit of time to settle and for you to think it over, yeah. but is there anything immediately that you were like, ah, I've learned that lesson today? I feel like because I have so many styles under my belt, I felt like I was just so eager to let them all out that mm. I just, I should have retained one or one or two. I uh -huh. with one or two of them and then I could have just Like maybe simplify a little bit yeah. more and... Especially for the crowd because the crowd doesn't always understand the most technical bits of dance and just really right. dash their stuff out and also just structuring. Yeah. Structuring is like a very key part. I'm trying to learn how to hold back my excitement and just structure it and then boost it up by the end of the round. Yes. Rather than m melt out, burn out. Burn out, yeah. Burn out. Um, oh, too early and peak yeah. early. Yeah, that's definitely very important, yeah. Um, so, any highlights from today, from the other belt? Have you managed to watch everything? I didn't watch everything. Okay. But I must say, Kane versus Omni. Wee, 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 wee. That was the finals <laughs> for people that don't know. 
Yeah, very yeah. good, very good battle. I'm so proud of both of them, honestly. Like their journey, both of their journeys are so inspirational. They, yeah. If you just watch them from where they first started, just hard work, hard work, hard work, consistent hard work. Absolutely. So I'm just proud that I get to know them and just love them as brothers, man. Ah, that's very, what a positive, lovely message. We like that here. <laughs> Um, and will you be back next year? Yes, definitely. Yeah, lovely. Um, did you did you find it harder to qualify or find it harder to kind of be on the stage today? Ooh. Because I guess what some people were saying is that, you know, yesterday they kind of had something that they were trying to go for. They were trying to get the judges' votes. They were trying to win. Mm. And maybe today, because it's the final day, it's easier to let go. Or did you find it more pressure today? Hmm. Oh, good question. I can't really tell you which one. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Or which one I did you have more fun at then? I think I had more fun in my qualifiers, I think. Oh, yeah? Personally for myself. Okay. I think I was able to let myself just go. Mm. I think especially in my prelim, because I was, you know, we did nothing really on the line. You just present yourself and like, cool, this is fun. No just expectations, do, just no go expectations. Out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so I think that's where I enjoyed myself the most in my qualifiers. Oh, nice, okay, cool. And do you find it a bit different when the, like, the crowd versus the judges, do you find your attention is split or were there different things that you brought in to try and impress the crowd or? I think I personally find it hard to get crowd interaction. So mm. I tried to do like a little, you know, the TikTok thing with the hips and stuff like that okay. to try and get the crowd reaction. But yeah. apart from that, I think it's just a skill I need to start learning how to hone like crowd interaction and getting the crowd on my side because I'll also boost my rounds as I yeah, go along. For sure, so, yeah. in, any, in any event, I guess. Yeah. Amazing, amazing. And any kind of things that you're going to try and take from this and put into battles besides just that one, but is there anything that you learned that you're like, can't wait to put this into the next one? Because second ever battle, I guess. Mm. Ooh. Or even from, from Ground Zero, anything that you've picked up in your first couple of battles? My first couple of battles? Definitely the structure. Yeah. My structure is all over the place. Okay. Currently, <laughs> as you're watching this right now, my structure is all over the place. <laughs> it's going to get better, I well, promise you. Well, you don't know when this is going to come out. It could, in a week's time, you could have fixed it. <laughs> Never know. <laughs> hardcore training. Yeah, hardcore. Cool, cool, lovely. Um, do you want to tell the people at home a little bit about where they can find you, what you guys do with your channel? Because obviously, obviously, you guys are all loyal capsule uh, watchers, so you would have seen these guys before. But let's say there's one or two people yeah. that don't subscribe and like every single video. Mm. Where can they find you? <laughs> so, as you can see on my t-shirt. Oh, we got the t-shirts, we got D. new t-shirts. Yeah, yeah, I got a new t-shirt. Let's go. D apostrophe E-L-I. Type that in on YouTube and you'll find- And you pronounce it Delhi. No, <laughs> you pronounce it D-Li, 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 D-Li. <laughs> That's my other half over there, to John. Come and stick come, your come, face come. in. That's my brother, man. That's my brother. Trust me. One Partners day apart. In crime. Literally one day apart, man. But um, yeah, you can find us together, D Light on yeah, YouTube. Yeah, I was going to say, say how you actually pronounce it because I'm being funny. <laughs> D Light. And you can also find me on Instagram, Elijah underscore R dot S. Check these guys out because you're both amazing dancers, but I also am a massive supporter of what you guys are doing the YouTube, the content creation, the kind of almost presenting at some points, the vlogs, everything, um, I think is dope. And to see you guys pushing that and maintaining your dance skills, I think is fucking very dope. <laughs> I don't know if we can swear, but very dope. Um, and yeah, I'm super proud of you guys and you especially for today. So well done, man. Thank you. Really Triple well done. shout me or anyone else that wants us to host or do anything at your events. We're more than happy to do it, man. Yeah. Dope. <laughs> Little Catch you soon, bro. That, that's it. <laughs> Hello, mate. How's it going? I'm good, man. How you doing? Good. I am not bad at all. Thank you for asking. Um, do you want to give a little intro for the people at home? Tell them your name. Tell them a little bit about what you do. Uh, yeah, so my name's Toby. Uh, I'm mainly a popper, but I've kind of dabbled in all styles. Um, representing Shake and TMI from the South Coast. Yay, let's go. Uh, are you based yeah. in London now, or are you still based down there? No, nah, still based on South. Sick. Nice. Um, and you qualified yesterday. Yes. And tell me how that went. How did you, you won some battles or were you in the three to smoke or how did you get here? Uh, well, yesterday I kind of came in with just this open mind. Like, okay. I just wanted to have fun. I was coming up here today anyway to watch the final. Oh, nice. So I thought, why not try it? Um, but yeah, nah, um, straight through won both battles um, qualified. Lovely. So, yeah, I think I saw your round to the... Um, what was the song, the Carly Ray? Oh, Call Me Maybe. Yeah, yeah Carly Ray Jepsen, yeah. Is this a personal favorite of yours? Oh, mate, it's on every playlist. 
every single Perfect. one. Perfect, lovely. How are you finding on that note, actually? How are you finding the music choices in this? Is it, do you, because so, I think some people, they find the battle beats that they're used to easier, mm. but some people find this easier because it's music that they're listening to outside of training. It's such a difficult thing to kind of explain because I'm a bit of both worlds. Mm. Like when I train, I don't train to this, anything yeah. like this, but every time that I want to like just mess around with mates when we're at a jam, stuff like that will come on and you instinctively just kind of do whatever you want to it. So yeah. I suppose that's kind of helped a bit. And there's but. a sense of like, when you're dancing to this, it, you feel a bit more free, I guess, because yes, you're yeah. not thinking, oh, what would I do in a battle? You're just thinking, what do I want yeah, to do? Yeah, yeah. And like if you're in a normal battle, you're thinking, right, technically you've got to be strong. Yep. You've got to be like on the music proper. Like in this, you can have that bit more character, that bit more of a relaxed kind yeah. of feel to your dance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. And did you, um, do you find that you were able to kind of have that freedom in your in your battles today that you would have maybe done to this in the club or yeah definitely um, the ability to kind of mix and match with what you do as well you don't have to be so strict on your discipline to stick to one style I think really definitely helps with how I would dance as well yeah definitely. yeah yeah did you have a kind of did you go into today with a bit of a game plan after having found out you qualified yesterday do you know what I went into today with the thought of whatever happens is a bonus oh amazing like, That's a great I, thing. do you know what i wasn't expecting to qualify yesterday i thought i'll try it i'll see what happens so yeah. to make it to today regardless of like losing the first battle i, I don't care like amazing. i had so much fun with it and oh, that was all i a, wanted to do so yeah i think the no expectations thing is such a great place to start from because yeah, sure. every round you get through is a bonus yeah and yeah, especially like you said word. you were coming here to watch and yeah. then you ended up on the main stage yeah, so no, it was sick, that's man. really amazing. It was amazing sick and um so you lost in the top 16 yes who was it against Curtie. Ah, uh, fair enough from home bros yeah man. how do you feel like that battle went for you was there things that you would maybe do differently was there things that you learned from it do you know what it is like i don't think any dancer will come away from around and think okay that was perfect i did exactly. everything i wanted to there was sure. always stuff that you'd look at and you go i could have done that better yeah, yeah, maybe yeah. i could have done this but at the same time I went in and I did me mm. and I mean dance your style I danced my style I did what came to my head when I was there I enjoyed myself Kurt, like Curtie was great as well like I haven't battled for years like it's been a long long time right. and he was so encouraging and such a nice soul as you're, oh, like, you're on the nice. stage which just made it that little bit better because I enjoyed it more yeah. which meant in my head I danced better as well so for sure kind of, and I think there's like a saying of like um, I don't know if it's a saying or just stuff that people have told me, but you know, if you're gonna change your dance mm. and then you end up losing, or you can keep your dance the same and you might end up losing, yeah. you might as well stick to what you do yeah, exactly and then you're that. always gonna yeah. be happy, you know? Cause you don't yeah, wanna yeah. try and do something that you think maybe other people will like. What well, I was gonna say. And like, then you don't feel happy. You facing know? someone like Curti, you know, Afro flavor on a million, like yeah. that's just that's just how it is. Yeah, and I'm never gonna try that because I know I'll never match it. Of course, and right. like you get an Afro track comes on for the second round, it's one of those ones you kind of have to be like, okay, yeah, I'll accept this. This like, is his. Uh, I, ain't gonna, I ain't gonna touch this. Do you know what? I'll dabble it. I'll just I'll show it. But like, yeah. nah, this I'll is your, it a go. Yeah, this is your thing. So amazing. And no, so. Yeah, actually, how as as a popper, did you have a certain way of approaching the songs? Difficult, like. I think where I've managed to kind of have a little bit of training in all styles, I thought mm. if the track permitted it, I'd dabble in a little bit of style, maybe right. mix popping into it okay. and kind of combine styles. But in the end, I just I just wanted to have fun with it. And that's all that I've kind of approached it with in popping. Amazing, amazing. So, yeah. so it's more about like your style being literally what you want to do, not yeah. sticking to popping. It's like yeah, yeah. whatever I feel in the moment, that's what's going to be the right thing for me. Yeah, man. It was just whatever, however the music took me. Let's put it that way. I mean, I got Carly Rae Jepsen on. Like, perfect. I can't exactly come in and be like, okay, cool. So I'm going to give it more of more of like a boogaloo feel to this. Do you know, do you know what I mean? Like, you're just going to enjoy it. You're just going to have fun. Yeah, with it, for so. sure, man. And um, I was going to ask you something else, but I've forgotten now. Um, <laughs> But yeah, are you kind of motivated to to push through to do some more battles? You said it's been a long time since you battled, but yeah, I mean, is this giving you a little kick, or is this giving you you're satisfied now? It's well, no, no. <laughs> it's, it's a difficult one. Um, like a lot of my time is taken up by my day to day job, and like especially being down south coast. Are you so, working professionally as a dancer? No, nah, I work. Oh, okay. like, I don't work in dance at all. Oh wow, like, this is completely oh, even... like a little side thing for oh, me. Oh, amazing but, um, then. Yeah, now nah, with that and being down on the south coast, it's so 
difficult to try and find the time to come up here for sure, battles. Sure, yeah, because that's a whole weekend. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and like sometimes you'll get back late on a Sunday and then it's like, oh, I'm not going to make it into work on Monday. And then that's like a lot of think It's that kind of thing. But I won't say no, I'm not going to battle because I love it. I love the scene. It's so much fun to be a part of. And Amazing. Everyone and we love having you in it. Oh, <laughs> you're sweet, idiot. <yeah. laughs> but no, like... We'll see. I'll finish out the year. I've got a couple more events that I want to at least try and get to, whether I compete at them or not. I just sure. don't want to get to them, but we'll see. I mean, I'm not a spring chicken no more. I'm not that youngster. I know the feeling, like, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so it's, it's balancing everything together yeah. and we'll see we'll see what happens if i can get some more i'll get some more if i can't then i'm still happy gonna, i'll be in the scene <laughs> in some way yeah for but sure like, i mean i'm trying it's it's a little bit difficult at the moment but i'm trying to get the south coast scene up yes like right, I, right right i dabbled in it years ago i had a great time i stopped like covid was kind of a blessing for me i hit that point of burnout right. and i thought i'll take a step back let let me have that year off yeah and i've come back and there's so many more people that have kind of upped their level and i don't know whether that was through training through covid or whatever but um on the south coast it's been so quiet for so so long mm. um i'm kind of i'm generalizing when i say south coast sure, yeah. but like bournemouth portsmouth yeah. that kind of region um and i want to get people to a level where they want to get to i'd rather be that little mentor that little yeah, coach to, right, them, to right, get right. someone else like I've had my fun in the sun. I've done more of the competition scene um, yeah. for the like the last few years, and I've had a great time in that. I've done the battles. I've had a great time in that. And now you want to give other people a chance exactly. To... Yeah, I want to let the the new gen come through. Amazing. But... Well, that's amazing to hear, and I know you got a long drive back, so oh, yes. <laughs> I'll let yeah. you go. But thank you so much for coming through, and well done today, man. Uh, really did well. Appreciate it, man. Thank you. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> we can get um, that sorted out, my bro. How yes. you doing, bro? You good? Do you know what? I feel blessed. How sick. are you, man? I'm great, man. I'm great. You yeah. did really good today, man. It's really sick to it. see. I appreciate it. Do you want to give a quick little intro for people at home that may not know who you are? Okay. My name is Curtis Swift. I am one half of Home Bros. I'm a the legendary, the infamous. <laughs> love my bro. I'm also a long-standing member of Boy Blue Entertainment. Oh yeah, the other legendary. Yes, <laughs> come on, and yeah, I'm a, I'm a dancer, I'm a, a teacher, educator. Yes, sir. Um, and I love, I love what we do. I love, I love dance. And we love having you. Do what you do. Well, it's the second time, isn't it now? Yeah, yeah. yeah there man. is a long interview coming out with both of the members of Home Bros very soon. It's been delayed, but it is on its way out. There's so much has happened since we, we spoke. Bro, it's like we're, we're whole new people. Come on. <laughs> I'm so, feeling these shades though, my boy. You like them? It was sunny, but now I'm just keeping them for consistency. Come on, continuity. <laughs> the sun is going down, but I'm like, oh, I'm committed show to the shades them, now. Show them. <laughs> so how do you feel today? Have you, do, have you done what you came to do and feel satisfied and happy with your day? Yeah, to some extent I am, yeah. Um, I feel like um, I wanted to just represent Africa. I think I'm a dancer full yeah. stop. So um, for me, doing a competition like Dance Your Style is very interesting for me because mm. I train in multiple disciplines. So it's like, um, where do I... Yeah, and also just because I'm a lover of dance. Mm. I'm a lover of movement, so, and I'm a lover of, of the music that inspires me. I, I'm not yeah. a type of person that listens to one genre of music, so, and I enjoy and I've been training for a very long time in different disciplines, so it's very interesting being, just deciding to be like, you know what, I want to explore this style because this is a style that I've been exploring heavily. Yes, yeah, yeah. And I'm lucky enough to, to be, um, someone that is able to um, educate others in, in learning about yeah. modern African dance styles yeah. and trying to push the movement for everyone to understand the language of modern, modern African dance styles. So it's very interesting to be able to showcase this on this kind of platform. Yeah. Um, I easily felt like those moments where I could have jumped into a different style, but I felt like I just wanted to um, stick and just enjoy my style. Yeah. And hopefully people will understand it because it's just like anything, um, with any language, the more you understand the words of the language, the more you'll be able to understand what, exactly. what someone's trying to say to you, yeah. their poem. So Yeah, that's a great analogy. Yeah. yeah, so hopefully people are able to take another step in understanding the language of modern African dance. Yeah, um, yeah. And I feel like we represent it today. Yeah, there like was four, four Afro dancers, right? Four. That is, for me, that's sensational. Out of, what, 16? Exactly. That's amazing. That's, in, that's sensational for yeah. me because... I was there when nobody wanted to dance the style. Yeah, you know yeah, yeah. Like, and this is, we talked about this a lot in the full interview, but you guys were a lot 
of the reason that, that the thing grew and stuff like that. So I guess you're also probably feeling like a sense of pride of these people being here. You're exactly. like, we did it. <laughs> it's not, I've always been this kind of person where it's like, it's not about me. Mm. I, I don't know, it's very awkward being a dancer and not feeling like you want all eyes on you. Right. If that's yeah, you're trying crazy, to like push it? it to other people. and Yeah, I, I'm very proud of, of the movement, but I know that it's not mine. Right, right, right. Like, do you get what I'm saying? You're kind of just spreading something that... The dance style is not yeah. mine. I'm, I'm a student of the game. I'm a student mm. of my own culture. I'm learning as much as everyone else. Yeah. The fact that I'm able to push it on and I've been able to really try and grow the energy yeah. and the vibrations yeah. within the UK over the past 10 years yeah. has been sensational for me. Like... Look at all of the breaks in today's show. Yeah. How much Afro True. Afro beats were played, and everyone's talking, loving it. And when I say Afro beats, I'm talking Af actual Afro beats. I'm talking about I'm a piano. I'm talking about music that has like an Afro swing energy. Mm. So much beautiful music that's come from our continent. Where 10, 12 years ago, we may have got one song out the whole night. Yeah. I think that's just so beautiful. Yeah, man, Africa definitely. To the world. Yeah, let's and go. So actually, because the finals of Dance Your Style are in, is it Johannesburg? Yes. Yes. So, and obviously that's where the winner Kane will be going to compete. But what's, I mean, it's nice to have you here as like somewhat of an expert on this, these type of things. Obviously, I know within Africa, there's they have different scenes and different styles. And I know you're Ghanaian, you said, yes, right? Yes, GH. Yeah, so your um, maybe expertise is more with that. But what, yeah. do you know much about like the scene in South Africa? Will there be a lot of Afro dancers from South Africa representing in those, in the finals, do you think? South Africa? It's fire. <laughs> fire. I know uh, the main thing I know from South Africa is like South African house music, which yes. I love. Yes. It's so you've got nice. like South African house and then you've got like sounds like mum, you've got sounds like I'm a piano mm. and just the discipline of the dancers is sensational, yeah, yeah. please. You've got people like Thames Adipero, you've got people like Dota Sebu. Um, you, there's so many amazing dancers from South Africa and their energy, their um, patience, their timing, their feeling is sensational like nice. please understand like going to johannesburg is not like oh this is a safari trip no 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 no, no. <laughs> you're gonna get like it's really and uh, you have to understand as well just like everything when you're learning about hip-hop you learn about the history of hip-hop within america you learn about sure. its foundation how it came about yeah you, you learn about the breakbeat you learn about the battle so you learn about what was happening taking place at that time south africa also has its own story mm. you have to understand it you have to understand the growing and the, and the and the culture of like pansula and understanding how that came about through through oppression and how that was done in the ghettos okay. and how that was pansula is the south african dance Ooh, if pansula <laughs> <laughs> it's dope. <laughs> My bro, crazy, crazy footwork, mm. crazy musicality, crazy choices, crazy isolation. Amazing. Like I'm talking isolation, which you will think, oh, is this popping? No. Like this is one thing as well. When, like someone sees, when someone sees a pop or they yeah, see yeah, isolation, yeah, yeah. people automatically say it's popping. But these are styles that have been grown within their own context. Right, right. So, um, Hansula and his energy and where it's come from, from the townships, is sensational. Sick. And how that has grown within their culture. Please understand, South Africa as a place is an amazing place. Amazing. So when everyone goes there, please understand that. Go there, show them, show them dancers respect. Yeah. Show man. them love, show them energy, because they've got their own scene and their own scene has yeah. been sufficient with themselves. They've not, do you know what's beautiful about South Africa? And a lot of modern African um, dance mu music is that especially with South Africa they have not needed the West mm. to jump on their sounds they're just happy doing their own thing exactly they build. it's us that want to know more about what's happening over there where Which is they've beautiful. created their culture and yeah. they've created their sound their music on a weekly basis churning out music in the clubs yeah. and creating the energy that now we want to be invested in we're being drawn into their energy so we have to understand and be understanding and respectful of their culture when oh, we're yeah, entering yeah. do you get what i'm saying definitely and uh, hopefully like these guys when they go there get some time off to uh go and dance in the scene there because you know you have dance your style but yeah. maybe they're going to be workshops or club yeah. nights I, I hope i think kane's old enough to go to a club but yeah. <laughs> if, I, if i could if i'm free those days i would love to go as well yeah. i'd love to go and just show show my people some support that would be amazing yeah. well bro uh well done today Appreciate Thank you so it, much for coming through and sharing some of the knowledge with us and for appreciate sharing it. your skills on the stage of us. And um, it, yeah. yeah, I'll catch you soon. There is the full length interview with the infamous home bros coming out soon. Well, and, why um, are you throwing that infamous? Like, whoa. Yeah, infamous is kind of negative, isn't it? Let's say legendary. The 
legendary. Legendary, no? wow. Come no, on. I, bro, like, it's just, it's crazy for me for you to be saying that. Nah, but Home Bros is like, yeah, that's the name. Rings bells in certain circles. Thank you so much, man. <laughs> I really do appreciate and it. Yo, I'm really humble. Seriously, the, um, the interview, I mean, I was there because I was listening to it, but <laughs> the interview is really good and like so full of knowledge. Like a lot of interviews, sometimes they can be, we're just chatting back and forth, sharing yeah. ideas, but I think especially you guys was like, you just shared so much knowledge that was almost like, hey, I'm just going to go sit in the audience and listen. It was like it. so nice to hear you guys like share the whole journey and a lot of the surrounding info, which I didn't know and kind of you've been there all the way so you could kind of give context to a lot of stuff that happened so appreciate yeah it. it was really really informative and um, thanks for sharing that with me I appreciate you bro man thank you for just like having us understanding us it's been tough for us for the past 10 years like trying to break through so like thank you for just yeah. showing us love and understanding oh, that mate, what we're it. trying to build is way, <laughs> yeah. is way bigger than just two boys from East London we're trying to push push our culture to yeah. the world yes, every corner of the globe so yeah we man appreciate that. it my thank bro. you bro love, appreciate man. you man catch you soon come on home um, hello. How's it going, mate? It's going great. You were great today. Well, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> um, do you want to give, every, I'm asking everyone to give a quick intro, who they are, a little bit about background about themselves, their name, obviously. Of course. Well, my name is Camille. I dance popping. I have a dog and a cat. Lovely. Representing? AIM Collective. And a, a loyal listener of the capsule. I am actually. I'm proudly going to say that. Yes, I am. I love it. I, I'm saying that to boast that I have loyal listeners. No, honestly, it's great. <laughs> oh, you're it's the best. amazing. You're doing an amazing job. Oh, thanks so much. I'm trying very hard. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And we see and we appreciate you do a lot. Oh, thank you. That's so nice of you. Um, so, from what I heard, someone was on fire yesterday. I, I wasn't here. Oh. But the word on the street. <laughs> is that somebody was on fire yesterday. I don't know if it's you, they said some girl called Camille. No, I'm <laughs> <laughs> so how is, so you, you entered the qualifiers yesterday and um, you lost your first battle, no, second battle, and then you got put into the four to, three to smoke. Three to smoke, yeah. And then you won everything. Um, kind of. I don't, I don't want to say it myself. But yeah, I mean, um, yeah, so it was top 16, I won that, top 8, I lost, then I got to do 3 to smoke, and uh, I did 7 rounds in a row. Woo! You won 7 in a row? In a row, yeah. Oh, God. I was like, Jenny, 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 is, am I done? <laughs> am I, can, so can you I go? battled twice, one round each battle? One round, yes, one round each battle. So, so yeah. yeah, so you did two rounds with a little break in between, and then 7 straight rounds. I th no, I think in like in a row I did seven. Yes, yes, correct. Sorry. Yes. And a prelim. So seven, eight, and nine, ten rounds in, on a day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. my God. So that's why everybody's saying you're on fire. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that makes sense. Yeah. Um, how did you find that experience? That sounds, first of all, very tiring. Right. It was, but actually I'm going to say it was perfect for me. Okay. Go it on. was perfect for me because I knew that I will need to do that. Like, I mm. don't know how to explain, but in my head, I knew that I will have to do three to smoke yeah and that is the way i want to get into the competition oh interesting how come um i wanted to because i didn't deserve like i wouldn't if i lost and i didn't have the opportunity i that would have been fine because i didn't deserve it but because i had the opportunity to do three to smoke i knew that that is my chance to showcase what i do and prove my like prove myself that I can win and because I consider myself more I don't I'm I don't have like these moments in my battles where I'm like <laughs> <laughs> you know yeah. I'm more of a, a step and a I quiet like taste this. yeah, 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 yeah <laughs> like yeah. the more you watch the more you enjoy I think so mm. it would yeah it's I mean I don't know that I agree but I I hear what you're saying it was just good to do a lot of rounds because I was like, a lot of people obviously approached me and they were like, I think like it was perfect for you because you just kept going up and also that I was way more relaxed. Mm. And of course I was relaxed because I was tired. Sure, and you have no I, choice I like, but to yeah, do whatever I can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah but yeah. it was perfect for me, I loved it. I love, um, I love that. Three to Smoke was perfect for me because it's just, it suits my dance. Yeah, And right. it suits my preference. I love watching people dance for a long time. Mm. So it was good. Do you find that you kind of train with that more in mind where you train longer and in, in 
more you train lots of rounds at once as opposed to like just going and doing one round and yeah for sure that that's more of a natural what comes naturally and then Sean would always tell me like you've got to do it now like you've got to do it now where I don't have that because I'm such I, I love quality over anything else right. I love the the quality of movement over anything like mm -hmm. over any moves and over any flips or splits or yeah, whatever right right so I I tend to practice like that but so it's, it's quite difficult for me like the boys are really good like the boys in UK the younger generation I think that they're really good at just like moments bam. yeah yeah so yeah interesting and yeah it is it's actually interesting because I mean I know you a bit more personally than maybe some of the other people but not that I was surprised that you entered but I I would all I'm not surprised that you entered, but I also wouldn't be surprised if you didn't enter and you're like, no, it's not my type of thing. Do you yeah, know what totally, I mean? Totally, totally, like, totally. That would be, I'd be like, oh yeah, I kind of, I see why she would say that, but not from your dance, because I think you, I would have put money that you would do really well in this, but I know your mentality. Yeah. And so what was it that made you decide to enter? What was it that like pushed you to do all this? That's a great question and I'll, I'll so I'm going to be really honest about my answer. So I think that at this point of my dance, I can be chosen to be top eight. Yes. Right. And that Based is my on like you're standing in the sea and your reputation. Yeah, and I think like I've I've also done a couple of Red Bull events. Uh, so I think in a way I'm just like I know that they they do ask me to do some some of their stuff. So that was my that's my ego. Mm. That's my ego that was like right. Well, you weren't chosen, obviously. <laughs> I wasn't <laughs> and then I so my ego went what? why not yeah uh, but then I thought to myself okay I need to learn I need mm. to learn something I okay. need to learn something and of course I I didn't have to do it and I mean even though I um, I think I can shine in these type of s circumstances because I love to dance mm. but it's not my thing at all in in a way what what part of it isn't your thing it's the again my the way I dance is I don't have I don't give out candy I don't <laughs> I don't I have that mean. I just yeah. don't have that it's it's more of a it's quality technique and it's how precise I am and how clean I am that's, that's you like the, to be like a technician and a specialist yeah. yeah but you know what's funny is like I know that you think that you don't give out candy but I think you do more than you think than and I, it's not that's not to say it's a negative thing it's like giving out candy being the metaphor for like giving the audience like fun easily digestible things mm. that are maybe like exciting in the moment right yeah but i think you do have that in your own way and that's why i'm not surprised at all from both i'm surprised and i'm not even surprised that you entered and i'm not surprised that you were on fire yesterday at all but mm -hmm. i think even watching your battles today who was your first battle against uh flow flow yes and watch I missed the second one with Dylan, Dylan but yeah. watching um, that one I was like yeah this is exactly like the stuff that you are good at mm -hmm. and that you do really well and actually some of the stuff that I love about your dancing but it just forces you to veer more to that side of your dance okay I think. do you know what I mean yeah yeah so, and I it's do. a bit like you still maintain that like specialism and the intricacy mm. and, and all that sort of thing it's just a bit more like loose and relaxed oh yeah for sure which for sure. I love to see thank so you very much for me it was really enjoyable to see thank that thank you but yeah no I totally get it but it was just to to finish on my answer is I, I knew that I needed to learn and that was uh, a lesson how to learn because I right. think my ego was just uh, very like ah, but I'm not the shit okay honestly I'm not like there are all the all the dancers that were selected they Are deserved amazing. that yeah, and sure. they were amazing and the diversity was brilliant um across the board and i just thought right i think i just need to do it and just to to challenge myself and see how well i can do uh, and that was my main goal i was just like i needed to learn something i needed to learn something and i think it was just about my ego and how that i i should just be a bit more aware mm. of when it comes into play and yeah okay so it was more like a lesson in you you kind of putting like your feelings of what i should or shouldn't get and just be like these this yeah. is what it is and i'm gonna if i'm gonna if i want to be in it i'll go and qualify exactly so that was my yeah so i was like i need to earn it mm. i need to i need to do my thing and and that's why in a way seven to smoke was so perfect because it wasn't like i didn't really get it and then i was like well fine like there's another chance for you 
and and I yeah and and I tried and it felt good and the crowd was amazing and I think the response um, was great and yeah I really enjoyed it so it was really fun amazing yeah. and today you battled yeah Flo first round and then Dylan, Dylan. and Dylan won I won you won and then who did you battle third round Omni Omni okay who went on to battle Kane in the yeah. finals amazing so how did you find those three battles do you find that you had to kind of have a strategy did you work in different ways or did you just kind of be like I'm just gonna do me and dance my style <laughs> Right, that is a good question. I didn't really think about it, so I suppose I didn't really have a strategy. Mm. Uh, if there was a strategy, it was for me to listen, listen to the music, listen to the music, listen to the music. And um, more of a, um, not hold myself back and not feel that, ah, oh, like, is this embarrassing? Or, oh, interesting. <laughs> honestly, a lot of moments definitely felt like they really? were very embarrassing. Oh my okay. God, yeah. I was just telling Jenny, I was like, you know how strange it is that so many people see your bum moving. <laughs> it's like, be -do 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 -do. <laughs> it's, a, it's very that's so funny. That's, that, that, that's what you were thinking about while you were dancing. <laughs> I was like, damn, this is strange. But um, I didn't really, yeah, so I was just listening to the music. Um, I guess like having fun with it, not feeling embarrassed, really just owning what I'm doing. Because um, I think in these competitions, that's what's really important. It's like you've got to trust what you're doing. Because if you lose it, then we can all see it. Yeah. And, and I think where the audience is not going to maybe latch on to like the different bits of technique and yeah. that type of thing that we usually focus on, they will focus on they look tired or they look like they're underconfident or scared. That's something that anyone can yeah. feel. Because <laughs> again, it's a feeling. It's like how would they empathize with you? And yes. like if they see that and if they feel that, that exactly, yeah. that's going to be the case. Amazing. Yeah. And I guess, you know, it's, a, it's also a good lesson in performing and, you know, yeah. controlling crowds and this type of thing. And yeah. Yeah. And do you feel like there's stuff that you're going to... You know, you said a lot about you learning things. Is uh -huh. there stuff that you're going to bring back to your normal dance from t today or yesterday? You know what? I think I should. Okay. Which I think I bits? should. I think the fact that um, being uh, being mindful with competitions, I think so far I'm, I'm pretty good at that. But sometimes I don't just compete in every popping battle right. and people ask, oh, why did you cop? And I don't really have an answer. But honestly, it's just for me... I, I've got to be a bit more mindful. I don't just want to go and do it because, oh, well, I'm a popping dancer, it's a popping battle. Well, I'm kind of. I have to do everything. Yeah. So I think I'm just, I'm sticking to it because this was very meaningful to me and I was very conscious about the choices that I was making in terms of this competition. And um, more of a. Um, Honestly, like the the response was amazing. So many people came to me and they were just oh, crazy. And I've got to take it with me because I'm not the person to believe that uh, I am. Well, you should. I know. You and, should, and, and you I, deserve the praise. Yeah, and I and I. But thi That's this the is my first time that I'm not going to be like no. Good. I'm, I'm, we like I'm that. actually going to say that. Yeah, it, it felt amazing and it felt great that people felt that and. Um, some people that I look up to, they, they said amazing things to me and that was a real win. Yeah, that's amazing and you honestly do deserve it. Thank and you. Um, yeah, I'm really happy to see to see that and to also hear it because I feel like you're like one of the dancers that I always... You're probably one of my favourite dancers to watch, but also I think you're one of the dancers that like I wish le leaned into that more because I yes. feel like sometimes you have that where you... I guess it's like the I don't maybe it's ego or lack of ego or whatever it is, but you do something amazing and then you kind of just go, oh, okay, cool, see ya. Yes. And it's like I, I would love to see you throw yourself on big stages and do these things more because I think a lot more people would feel how I feel about your dance. You know what I mean? Yeah. No. And I I, I remember because we talked about it on the on your podcast mm -hmm. when it was with Aim and you said that, that AIM it's episode. Like, go and check it out on our YouTube episode yep. fifty. Oh, let's go. Oh yeah, because we. We drank it up <laughs> but I, it didn't affect me at all <laughs> <laughs> the legendary intro that that is just <laughs> such a mess yeah but um you've told me that it's like you i'm robbing you of a of an experience that you could have because i i hold myself back mm. and again that is one of I'm the so lessons smart. No, you are <laughs> no but you are that's why i do watch your podcast oh thanks 
I'm, I'm a supporter. <laughs> uh, but that is uh, one yeah. of the lessons is to, to not feel like I can't do embarrassing things. Because um, when I say embarrassing, I mean it's the fact that you are so exposed mm. and everything that you will do, people will see. Sure. You, you're not hiding anywhere. Um, and it's not embarrassing that it's like I tripped over and I fell, but it's embarrassing because you see me. It's like exposing, you're, yeah, vulnerable. Yeah, vulnerable. Yeah. And, uh, and some people own it so well, like Curtis, yeah. Jordan. I think like they just sit in the essence of what they, the message that they carry with each round. Yeah. And regardless of the faces that they make or like how, whatever, you know. It's more about the moment as opposed to. Yeah them double double uh what's the word second guessing yeah you know what i mean they're just like i'm just doing what i feel and that's gonna yeah. be i'm yeah. gonna be happy with that yeah and the and then the transmission is a, is so pure because we all again empathize with yes. like whoa jordan is really going nuts yeah 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 if you didn't see jordan who we're talking about jay funk was the winner of last year's dance your style amazing guy um brilliant but yeah thank you so much for passing through thank you um congratulations for everything you did today and I know hey. we're going to hang out and hopefully watch some basketball at some point. Oh, my God. Tell me about it. Hopefully Where? we'll watch America beat Lithuania at some point. Hey. <laughs> Excuse me. Excuse me. Um, no, but yeah, super love you. And um, hey. yeah, you're a good friend at, outside of this as well. So I'm super happy to see you succeed and Thank do you. well. You're a star. We're both stars. We're both stars. <laughs> All right. Catch you soon. Bye. Bye. Um, the man of the hour, Mr. Omni, how are you? I'm tired. I bet you are tired. <laughs> so you were, for context, you're, you are Omni. You um, were wildcard yeah. today, battled your way all the way to the finals mm -hmm. and just lost out to Mr. Kane because yeah. you had to go extra round. Yeah. How was your day? Did you have fun? How do you feel besides tired? <laughs> Enjoyed it, man. I yeah. mean, with this kind of competition where it's crowd judging, but also... It's not style specific. Yeah. I just got to be me in all rights and just do whatever I want. So yeah. I really enjoyed that. The crowd energy was amazing. Energy from the other dancers as well. So everything you find it's like really supportive between all the dancers? Yeah, 100%. What was it like final. backstage? Everyone kind of um, like hyping you up and stuff like that? Or Yeah, 100%. Like it was me like, all right, now my two friends are going against each other. All right, both do your thing. You yeah, know? yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's not like a hostile environment where it's in a battle in the underground scene. It'll be more like, all right, let me like merge competitive. You. Yeah. And then after it'll be like, all right, we're cool. But this one is just we're cool. Just us. love all round. Yeah, yeah. Oh, we love that. Good to hear. Um, so you, yeah, you had quite a few battles today. Who do you remember? All the people that you went against? Uh, yes, I went against Crooked District. Yeah, who won? Who is one of the online? qualifiers right yeah yeah yeah, yeah amazing crumper uh yara revlon yeah uh who was next was that sims or was it cool? uh who did i have next i can't remember actually i might have missed that one it'll come back to us oh camille yeah oh yeah, 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 yeah right 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 true that was your semi-final before game yeah yeah amazing yeah yeah and did you find i mean this was i i haven't seen you that like um animated fun i don't mean it in that way but i haven't seen you that like um expressive and like playing mm. to the crowd before but do you find did you feel comfortable doing that was that something that's new to you have you been working on that uh i'm super comfortable with it actually sick it's just uh i think of it when i think about dance i do think of it as in like school subjects okay so to me that would be the drama of it mm. and Let's say, for example, English would be communication, right. like vocabulary in your moves and whatnot. So it's always been there. I just don't think I could do it as much in an underground battle. Yeah. Because you have to keep it in a style specific way. So it doesn't really give you much openness to do certain things. Really. Right, right, right. And you just, well, I say just a few months ago, did BBC Young Dancer, right? Yeah, yeah. So how do you find that experience? Because obviously that's for TV but it's also for a, a similar audience in a way where it's like it's for the general public let's say mm -hmm. so do you find like you learned some lessons there that you brought to the to, to today um definitely yeah specifically blow ups <laughs> okay in what way <laughs> like certain moves will get a reaction mm. and definitely 
storytelling. Okay. If it's relatable, the crowd will really understand it and absolutely something unique that no one else is gonna do yep. is gonna definitely get a reaction, right? I always think of it as like if it's just, you know, some person who's who's not a dancer but they wanna be like, Oh, I wanna vote for the guy that and then they need to be able to finish that sentence. The guy mm -hmm. that did that thing on the floor, the guy that was wearing that hat, the guy that <laughs> was really smiley. It's like, yeah. there's something that they need to be able to identify with to really like grasp on to your round and to, yeah, if, they're, yeah. if they're not looking at all the intricacies and weighing it up like we might do in an underground scene, then, mm -hmm. you know, they need these things to like yeah. bring them in and, and make them feel connected to your round. So <laughs> I think you guys, you did that great. And you brought some props for the finals, right? <laughs> <laughs> was that a last minute decision or was that always the plan? The only prop I bought was a mic. I was okay. like, "Whose mic was that? Where did you find at home?" Yeah, it was mine. Um, okay, because I used to bust like years ago. Ah. I was like, "Oh, I got this wireless mic." You I know thought what? you picked it up backstage. No. Like, <laughs> just run off with Red Bull's mic. <laughs> Should have. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, I had that. Uh, the other props were just accessories. Okay, they weren't really props. Yeah, like, some cocoa. cocoa bar. Yeah, my hands were even dry. They even dry now. So <laughs> you're like, I actually need this. Yeah. This isn't a prop. <laughs> Right. That's amazing. Yeah, but I think that's great. It's like really um, interesting thing because no one else did that. Mm -hmm. So it was like, it was nice uh, to see you try something different. And um, yeah, and it kind of um, sparks creativity in different ways because then mm. you start with the mic and then it gives you more ideas and you did different stuff that maybe you wouldn't have done yeah. if you weren't holding the mic yeah. because it like makes you think in different ways. So I think that was really cool. Yeah, yeah. That's it. yeah. And um, so you went three rounds with Kane, mm -hmm. then they voted a tie. I couldn't see from your perspective, but you were looking at, did it look pretty even? Everyone was holding up. Yeah, it looked pretty even. Split to down the fair. middle. <laughs> I mean, unless she was nitpicking. Yeah, you'd have I to mean, go through and count every yeah, single yeah. one. <laughs> but yeah, it looked pretty even. Amazing. And then in the third round, how were you uh, feeling by then? Were you super tired? I was tired. I didn't know what to do, I guess. <laughs> I think if I had a bit more time and in between the rounds. Yeah, yeah. Mm. I would have been like, all right, calm down. But then third round, I was tired. My brain was tired. I was just like, eh, just do whatever, see what happens. Give it your it, best shot. Yeah. Amazing. And um, does this, is there anything from today that's kind of like pushed you or motivated you to go back into training? Or are you kind of back to business as usual? You were always motivated. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm always motivated, always got to train. I'm sure you're training like <laughs> seven times a week. <laughs> <laughs> Every day every day but um i think a lot of people actually came up to me after and said they were inspired so i think that is one thing that definitely motivated me i mm. wanted to cry a little bit yeah, i bet because it's like yeah wow you're inspired by me and it was just like yeah yeah and i think um <laughs> i'm doing an interview max <laughs> bye max <Matt. laughs> um we're gonna cut that um <laughs> so yeah, and I think that's always good because, you know, we spend so much time focusing on what we're doing. It's nice to, like, take it out to the general public and to realise, yeah. like, everyone loves, like, the stuff that you do. You know, it's one thing, like, people in our scene being like, oh, you're great. But now you see, you know, a bigger, wider audience of people that have no need to come and speak to you, but are like, oh, yeah, let me go speak to that guy. He inspired yeah, me today, yeah. which is amazing, man. He's super dope. Yeah. Uh, I think you did a great job today. We're well, honestly really, really happy to see you get that far and just to, like, to see you out there performing, enjoying yourself. Like, yeah, it's, yeah. it's dope to see, man. You. Um, if you don't know Omni, check him out on Instagram. <laughs> Omni. Wow. There's, there's love by the wineries. <laughs> um, yeah, if you don't know Omni, check him out on Instagram, probably YouTube, stuff like that, where you can yeah, find yeah. him. Um, yeah, really dope dancer. Obviously, BBC Young Dancer as well. Check that out. Um, but yeah, I think this is like, you know, the very beginning of your journey and you got mm. years and years of a career ahead of you. So I'm super excited to see where it takes you. Yeah. Thanks, Thanks for so coming much, through, bro. Thank you. Appreciate okay. you, man. Peace. Hey, here he is. Yeah, yeah, the champ yeah. is here. <laughs> How are you, bro? I'm good, you know. Yeah? Yeah. I bet you're fucking good. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot to take in. Yeah. It's Are you feeling lot. emotional? Yeah, like I was crying. Is it? Day. I yeah. bet, bro, man. <laughs> it was. It's weird because I never. I didn't feel it coming. Like, I saw the blue, and I was just like, I started crying. Oh, you, well, on the third, on the last round, yeah. you didn't think you yeah. took it? No, I did. Well, before before the tie, the migraine skank one. Yeah. Like, I was like, I don't think I'm gonna take it. Yeah. But then again, me and Omni had. It was just a sick note. It was a sick moment. Like. He was on this side in the crowd doing the bad thing and I had my phone up at the yeah. other side of the crowd. There was just vibes. Um, and then when I was a tie, I was like, rah. 
in my head, I'm like, okay, so I didn't really feel confident about that that round because obviously he pulled out the microphone, he pulled mm. out the props, and I'm like, rah, you get me. Um, I was thinking, I was like, okay, now it's another round, and he played a drill song. I'm like, okay. I was like, in my head, I'm like, you could actually do this. So I feel like it was a, fi- a final push sort of thing. Yeah, yeah. Um, Cause it's like, I don't know if you know that feeling where it's just like, you haven't lost hope, but then it comes back and you're like, you know what? Let me actually just- Yeah, you kind of mean? thought it was over, but yeah. you're like a glimmer of hope comes back and you're like, exactly. last chance, yeah, let's literally. go. And I, it's a crazy position to be in, you know, where it's the, the extra round yeah. and it's the last, it's the extra round in the finals because it's literally, you're like, after this one round, I'm going home. Yeah, exactly. So like, uh, whatever energy I've got left, let's go. Yeah. That's what I was thinking. I was like, you know what? There's still, there's there's an energy in me, so all of it. Yeah, 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 that's yeah. If that's all of it, because like, I'm not doing anything after, so, <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, I'm gonna go home and yeah. sleep now. <laughs> so no, nah, I'm I'm very happy. It's, 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 it's overwhelming as well, a little bit, because like, even when, when Clara asked me to be a guest, I, I was mad happy. But then again, I was, I kind of like doubted myself a lot. Oh, really? Yeah. Like, How come? Just more so like, I don't, so when I say this to people, people like think I'm just, you know, I'm trying to like. Be humble. Yeah. Yeah. But I genuinely don't think I'm as good as people tell me I am or make me kind of feel. Mm, that's so interesting. That's why, that's why I train so much as well, because, because I don't feel that way. I train, so I do feel that way, you get me? Yeah. That, then, well, that's a great, healthy response yeah. to feeling like that. Because I think it is true, like, you have... <laughs> it is true that you're not as good... No, I'm nah. That's not what I was going to say. Um, no, but it is true that you, um, like, you're quite young. You haven't actually been in the battle scene for long. a super long time. Yeah. But you've, like, shot way up to the top and you are, like, really present. You're out a lot of battles. You win a lot. So yeah. with that comes pressure yeah because now like you know i think one of the things that beginners and maybe you kind of remember this time but beginners have this almost luxury that no one is really paying attention you can go in and do a prelim and no one really remembers or even knows you so and i think at your point when you do a prelim it's like everyone's expecting exactly yeah Yeah, they're expecting they're like oh it's kane's turn let's go watch and that's a lot of pressure for someone like you where you still want those moments of like all right let me just let me just do my thing let me try some new stuff i don't know where i'm gonna go so i i get why you feel i do think you're as good as people make it i don't think you're overrated at all um I do think you're, 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 you have the reputation you deserve, thank I think. You, you. But I do get why you might yeah. feel a bit like it's, it's an uneasy position to be yeah. at. But yeah, yeah like it's a really healthy and mature decision, I think, to, uh, to choose to be like, right, if I feel, it's almost like, do you know imposter syndrome? Yeah, Gary, yeah, that's Gary was telling you, he's like, hey, all that imposter syndrome. Exactly. Get it off now. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And it's yeah. like, if you do have that, the best thing is to like, all right, well, then I'm just going to train and get better yeah, and, exactly. until I feel like I, I deserve yeah. these positions. But yeah. bro, you fucking earned it today, man. Thank you, fam. You Thank earned you, it. You worked Thank hard, you so man. Much. And this was like, not just one round battles, like some of yeah. them were two yeah. tie rounds. So you were like, stamina wise, creativity wise, yeah. you had to pull it out. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Amazing, man. And are you excited for Johannesburg? <laughs> Stupid question, but I have yeah, to ask it. That, yeah, that's, that's <laughs> very, yeah. I'm mad excited for that. I think it's on my birthday as well. Is it? Yeah. Like, I'm, the actual yeah, competition? I think, so my birthday's on the 9th. Yeah. And I think the battle's on the 10th. Oof. So I'm going to be out there with my birthday period. So it's going to be hard. That is it's a birthday be, trip. Yeah. Let's go. I was just speaking to Curti from Home Bros. Yeah. And he was saying like the South African uh, dance scene in general is mad. Yeah. So I was saying it would be sick if you can yeah, like can't wait to meet. check out yeah. some of the dancers out there and stuff 100 like 100 that. Yeah. Um, oh, that's so cool, man. And um, so what are you feeling like moving forwards from here? Obviously, you got yeah. to focus on Johannesburg. Are you going to do any specific training for that? Are you going to just see how you feel? To be honest, people people would tell me, oh, train up, train up, train up. But to be honest, it's the thing where like, I didn't train for this today. Yeah. I just trusted myself. And for, to me, so I was training with, you know, Tahoe, the guy that yeah. came. Yeah. yeah. Where was, is he from, by the way? He's French. Ah, yeah. we were trying to figure it out. Yeah. Right. I was training, like, just literally the day before he left for France, I was training with him. And he helped me find like what was missing. Mm. Like, and it's, it's simply like, just like the feeling, you get me? Like, I felt like when I dance sometimes, I'm trying to please other people. Mm-hmm. So it's like, when we was training, we trained for like three hours, literally just like, just like this, like not doing much, just genuinely feeling what's playing yeah. and, and the natural feeling. And he spoke to me, he's like, yeah, what you have is good. But if the feeling is behind it as well, it'll make it 10 times better. 
And since that session, it's like every round I've done has felt different, especially today. So I came in today, I didn't genuinely didn't think I would make it first to first, past really? first round. Like I, I was, I saw, I saw Delon's, I think his name is. Yeah. And I was like, oh, <laughs> you get me? I was like, okay, this guy's hard. And then I think the first round, I can't remember what they played, but they played like not Afro tracks, but track that, that type I, of feeling. Yeah. So I was even, I think the second track was like an Afro one. And I was like, I turned around, I was like, <sighs> I was like, Fuck. And I was like, cool. So that, but then it's like, genuine, just, what was on, I felt it. And that's what made me perform the way I did. Mm. Especially, and also Curtis, that with Curtis pushed me hard because him, he's someone I've looked at for years. Like that wouldn't have necessarily knew me. Yeah. Especially because I'm not Afro dancer as well. Right. Like Curtis and TC, like homebros, I've seen them since I was little, you get me? Yeah. So it's like, just just battling him, I was like, rah, because this wouldn't happen. The, that battle wouldn't happen anywhere else. So it's like, I'll take this in. And he pushed me very hard. He pushed me hard. Yeah. And then, um, and then obviously Om, Omni brought something different. That was me. a <laughs> mad battle, man. Yeah, he brought, that was he brought out so much. Like, and that's why me, that's why I said on the mic earlier, um, but I was a bit like trembly, so I didn't know if anyone really heard it. But especially with me and Omni, like me and him actually came from like nothing. Because like, I remember when I first, let's say, not hopped in the dance scene, just started dancing more. Omni was like the first person that I saw that was kind oh, of really? doing the same thing as me, like mm. putting their phone up in the streets, recording little freestyles, yeah, yeah. posting it, getting like a hundred views, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, but we'd always follow each other, like each other's posts and oh, stuff. Sick. And then that like, we both came from the same sort of place. He obviously got into animation, I got into hip hop. Yeah. And I feel like with like I feel like he is me and him are like the same when it comes to the come up especially because I trained in hip hop, he trained in his thing. Right. And then all of a sudden, he started slapping man up in popping. <laughs> <laughs> and then in hip, like, I feel like with me and with Omni especially, like, if if you've seen him, then you would understand. It's hard to kind of put across. Yeah. But it's like, we literally come from holes, holes in my trousers, holes, <laughs> holes in my shoes, you know what I'm saying? Dancing in my socks in the road, like, yeah. you know what I mean? To, to even... To flying you know across the world like, to represent <laughs> the country. Literally, like, <laughs> that's why when I was in the finals with him, like, we had we had a moment at the side of the stage, I'm like, fam, I don't even care if you, I don't win, you win, you know what I'm saying? It's the fact that it's me and him there. Like, I love everybody else that was competing, but I'm so happy it was me and him that was in that final because Sick. it's, like I said, me and him have, have known... I wouldn't say known each other for time, but we came from the same place. So it made me makes me proud of me and him. It's like, oh, yeah. you done it. We're here. You get me. And it's 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 a different type of connection when you're kind of sharing that journey. Yeah, exactly. In the same yeah. at the same time, almost like you're like feeling parallel. So yeah. his success almost feels like your success yeah, and exactly. vice versa. I'm, yeah, like when when he does well, like I'm ha I get happy. I'm like yes, yeah. like proud, like proper proud feeling. Amazing. Like, yeah, man. Yeah. Sick. It was, it was, yeah. <laughs> it's a lot it's a lot still it is a lot it is a lot especially this weekend as well like I've done two battles like yesterday and the day before true didn't do well <laughs> oh, really? it's, not, it's not that I didn't do well not night what first, you were expecting yeah night first didn't pass prelims okay ground zero didn't pass first round uh. and it got to today I'm just like I was sitting in my bed like okay this whole weekend has been so dead <laughs> and I'm like let me, let, me, uh, let me just do this and now now it's kind of like it's all led up to this you know what I mean like all that everything happens for a reason you know what Hell I mean yeah. so I feel like everything all the I'm not going to say failure because it's not fail like all the kind of L's da down yeah. swings or the yeah, yeah. All, the, all the sort of yeah you know what I mean I've taken in the last like month like it's led up to this and I understand now because before I wasn't really understand I thought it was me I'm like oh like what do I do now mm. like, I'm not I'm not on I'm not really doing how I was doing I kind of was thinking I'm falling off and whatever that's how I felt. But then it kind of today made me realise that it's all led up to this, you know what I mean? Hell yeah. So yeah, man, I'm not happy, man. Not happy. You should be, man. You should <laughs> be happy. fucking proud of yourself. Thank you. Um, bro, I'm, I'm honestly really proud of you for more than just today. Like, I've said this to you privately no, and course, I always say it to the guys, but like, I think you guy, your, your, let's say like UPG, but also your entire generation, I think are super dope, like skill wise and talent wise, Thank but you, you also have a really positive great like outlook and i think it's something that is gonna carry you 
to have a long career and even the things of like you know feeling happy for Omni and wanting yeah, you both to succeed 100%. this type of mentality carries you for more than just like your wins in the yeah, moment so yeah. I think it's like looking back 10 15 years from now it's like this is the sort of thing that's gonna make you have longevity as a yeah, dancer and 100%. just be a happy person you yeah, know what I mean it's man. like yeah there's too with this much yeah with the, com- with the competitiveness yeah, it's exactly. really easy to get into that and um I'm I'm super happy to see you guys kind of steer around yeah, the the yeah. dips and the L's and yeah. the negative sides 100%. and kind of come out victorious. Yeah, man. Um, but yeah, super proud of you, bro. Happy to oh, see you win, man. You, you deserved bro. it. Thank you so much. Well done, bro. Come on. And um, yeah, c- check out Kane yeah. on socials. Um, do you want to plug? It? I'm going to put it on screen yeah, anyway. Yeah. But it's yeah. Kane dot underscore. Oh, yeah. Let's go. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but yeah, congrats. Thank um, you, good you luck so in South Africa. Do us proud, try, but no I'll pressure. <laughs> do yourself proud first. No, we'll course, be happy with whatever you, you do. Man, thank you. And um, yeah, look forward to seeing the rest of your journey, bro. Yeah. Cool, In a bit, man. Come on, come cool. On. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on, man? How are you? I'm good, you know. I'm good. I'm here. I'm happy to be here. Dancing, battling, and all Tired? Of that good stuff. I'm knackered, fam. <laughs> I'm knackered, <laughs> bruv. Do you want to, before we start, do you want to give a little intro? Like, tell people what your name is, what sort of thing you do. Um, I know you, I don't know who you represent in terms of like crews, all I do, but in who you want to shout out here. Um, yeah. Wagwan. My name's Joshua Vendetta. Um, I'm a crumper, uh, also a hip hop theatre artist. I create work, and I'm also part of a company called Far From the Norm. I make my own work also. Part of a crumb crew, Outliers, but 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 we represented today. Same as um, Gary. Gary, yeah. Yep. And um, and Crimson, who was on stage with uh, Aim. J. Oh, Fart. okay, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, Sick. Yeah, that's 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 me in a little nutshell. Amazing. Yeah, yeah. and um, I mean, all of those crews are super high. I mean, Far From Norm is like one of the best, most successful UK-based uh. theatre crews. No. I would say. Well, uh, I'm, I'm going to stay humble, but yeah, we're, yeah, doing, yeah. we're doing our I'll thing. Say, I'll say it for you. I'll we're doing our thing. No, if, if you don't know Far From The Norm already, yeah, like amazing work, um, Botus Severs, yeah. uh, choreographer, but like everyone in the company is amazing. So I, I'm not surprised you're successful. I appreciate that. Thank you. <laughs> you can't put a team like that together and not be successful. Um, but yeah, also Outliers from it sounds like, I didn't actually know much about Outliers, but from the people that are, you've said that are in it, like, are all super amazing as well yeah so we're pretty pretty new just come on the scene just um like how new are we talking ross um well i'm crap with dates like that but (laughs) (laughs) let's just say within the first yeah within this within this within this year oh amazing okay in terms of like being active and just like training with each other nice um yeah i'll say within this within this year sick yeah and there was quite like even there was you and gary from outliers obviously Crimson, who did a performance with yeah. Uh, Jordan, yeah, and then you had Lawrence Crooked District, yeah. who's he's not in the crew, but he's also a crumper. Yeah, is there any other crumpers I'm missing? Well, we also had Kalen Outliers. He he did prelims yesterday. Sick. Um, yeah, I wasn't here yesterday, so yeah, I missed yeah, some yeah. of the dancers. Yeah. Um, Anyone else? Any other Claire, crumpers? Claire, Claire showed her face today. Sick. Um, we got Jordan uh, Sapien. Yeah. Man's on holiday. Also had Jordan. <laughs> We got Shango. So Jordan and Shango also far from the normal members. Um, we also have is that everyone? I'm Did bad. Jordan come today? No, 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 no. He's on holiday, he's on holiday. Oh right, yeah, that's yeah, what you yeah, said yeah, he said was on holiday. Fair. Um, All right. Well, he would have. I think he would have been here definitely. Yeah, he would have killed. Yeah, he's a beast. Yeah. Where did I just see him? Um, cross cross culture. Cro- yeah, 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 yeah. Killed yeah, it there. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, well, so I feel like Crump is one of those things that it's. <sighs> Correct me if I'm wrong, but I feel like it's one of those things that if you're not a crumper, right, it's it's a bit hard to like understand and to to really like know the nuances of the style. But it's one of those styles that no, almost, it seems like not anyone, it seems like nobody needs to understand it. Like I find popping sometimes or some of these other styles are very like, if you don't know the intricacies, you're a bit like, oh, I don't really know what I'm looking at. But crump, I find like people love it, even if they don't know about it they just mm. watch it and they're like bro that was sick but well, they don't quite know why do you feel mm. like that or do you feel like i don't know i get what you're saying yeah i, I do feel a bit more that it just gets misunderstood so mm. people kind of write it off i do feel like that uh, okay I, I feel i think i'm a bit more on that side but i do understand what you're saying about yeah. i think that the energy can be so like captivating yeah and because there's so much energy that is put into it yes and you can see it takes hard work to yeah. do it it's, it's like watching breaking and you're sure. like bro you, you can see the power and the the, even the technique that's needed for yeah. it and appreciate it so I think from what the other half of what you're saying I understand how people can see it and be like 
rah, that takes mm. a lot. Do you know what I mean? But yeah. in the same breath, especially when like you're you're going, which I think um especially like my style, I am more like um I don't know how to explain it. I'm just gonna use um, Sick. I'm just gonna <laughs> oh, thank you. I'm gonna use I'm gonna use Jordan as an example, Sapien. Okay. Like the way he dances, he has his material and combo is very put together. Mm -hmm. So it's easy, it's easier for people to pick that apart and be like, yes. okay, I know what's going on. Yeah. I can see the story and the line. Yeah. I have that in a sense, but I think I'm a bit more free with it mm. and just like I don't know like how to more explain it, but I'm just, and yeah, I'm just yeah, rather okay. than like something that's a bit more concrete and set in stone. Like I don't have right. that, those materials and yes. storytelling. Right, right. Um, as much I, I can, I think I'm I fit better on crump music. I'm not used to doing all style battles as yet. I need to do a few more. Yeah, which I'm meaning to, but performing takes over my life. Yeah, I bet, bro. And it's like, I, you know, I was gonna say that. Hi guys. <laughs> um, you know what I was gonna say is that I feel that crump and again tell me if i'm talking rubbish but i feel like crump and let's say vogue or ballroom are very similar in the mm. sense that like pop in and hip-hop and break in and house maybe kind of exist in almost very similar sort of scenarios like mostly born out of like club dances or this type of thing or at least like social environments and yeah. as much as crump and ballroom culture are, are both social environment yeah. they're almost their own culture they're yeah, not like yeah, yeah. an aspect of hip-hop culture an aspect of street dance culture they're like crump is almost it's not that it's almost not dance culture but it kind of is isn't it it's like yeah, its I own movement like outside even, of things yeah if you look at just like all of the dance battles just around the world when you when you do see all style battles it's always you'll get you'll get hip-hop you'll mm. get house you might get a locking track and definitely popping tracks but you'll never you'll rarely hear pump tr uh, crumb tracks or there's um, sometimes there's not even like a crump category. Like when, yeah. you, when you think of just a boo, it's been going on for so long, and no crump, crump crump has been going on for a while now. We're we're established. Yeah, for but sure. They haven't implemented that category. Do you feel like um, crumpers want that? that I don't want to be. Involved? I don't think they do. Okay. I think it would. I still think it would be good. Yeah. Um, just to allow people to access it more, um, and just see it on a stage. Mm. Um, and in more battles because I think a lot of the battles are quite underground. Um, hold tight FTK happened in 17th of September yeah um, great event I shot there once and yeah, it was yeah, 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 it yeah, yeah, yeah. was dope man even just like I was filming and then I'm like oh shit this is fun because it's also the thing that like I wouldn't usually go to so then when I got a chance to shoot there and I actually saw the battles up like I was like anyone can really enjoy this stuff it's, mm -hmm, it's sick mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and you know what I love about Crumpers as well which is why I think that you guys do well in a, in a competition like this is like you're so good at like the structure and the like presentation of your rounds it's mm. like it's almost part of the dance to like take your time and like build to a certain point and it, can you speak more about that like the, the yeah. way that you're taught to structure crump yeah because especially in like a tournament round or whatever you've got a specific time and that's for any dance really but with crump you want to kind of get to the get off which is the ah, all of this wild stuff um so the, the it's almost like the you have a peak built into like your rounds like you need to have a peak at in every round almost yeah kind of okay not necessarily you don't have to have to get off okay. but it's it could be a good kill off once you do have it in there do you know what i mean right but then with <laughs> it's weird i feel like with this kind of competition it doesn't correlate it yeah because like, it's the, not such a cutthroat exactly the audience don't read it as much so mm. like i remember yesterday which was like i was just throwing out rounds <laughs> yeah. i was just like i need to kill whoever it is that i'm going against i need to kill them I'm like, bruv, why is why am I not getting voted for? <laughs> In my head, I'm like, bruv, I say I did well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then like, I watched Gary because Gary, Gary, oh, we, I forgot Gary. Gary outliers. Did I say Gary? I think we did. Yeah, because we said him first. Yeah. Gary outliers. Boom, boom, boom. Big okay. quick. Um, yeah, because he he puts in work. He's battling everywhere. Yeah. So like, and it's always all star battles that are being put on. Yeah. Um, so I know when I was watching watching him, I was like, he he knows what he's doing. He's he's, he's done it best. So I can yeah. see the formula and how he's doing the all style battles to compare to how he does a crump battle. Mm. I was like, oh, okay. you see the strategy yeah, coming into play. I can see that the, there's a complete difference from how he does crump battles right. to how he does like an all style battle. I was like, okay, okay, I see it, I see it. I tried to implement it yeah, that a little say, bit yeah. today, yeah. just like playing around a little bit because mm. it's a whole get the audience on your side kind of thing, which. It's kind of weird to me. I yeah. In the same, in the same breath, just like with theatre work and whatever, you create your own world. And yes, you want to bring, you want to bring the audience in, 
but it's not a it's not necessarily about pleasing the audience mm, it's, it's about like, showing them what yeah, you're doing yeah like this, this is my world mm -hmm. come and just just come and join Take me for a, a bit yeah. yeah which i think is easier when they're not the ones voting <laughs> that's the hard part it's like yeah. the, you can be like oh i'm gonna do this for me but you're like well they are the ones voting so <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, yeah that's that's the thing that i had definitely yesterday I, when it got to the end i was just tired as well so i was like man <laughs> I'm just, I'm just going. I'm just gonna do what I do, bro. Yeah, which yeah. I think is the best like thing to fall back on. Is like, listen, I, I don't know what I'm gonna do or what I want to do, but let me just make myself happy first, mm. and then it's like, you know, can't go wrong there. Yeah, hopefully. Yeah, hopefully. <laughs> do you find that you there was a any, or any stuff from perform because you've been on big stages, which not all of these dancers have. They haven't all performed in front of big audiences. Um, is there stuff that you kind of pulled from your theatre work to be able to not like moves, but lessons i guess <laughs> like that you were able to implement and like right i know what it's like i'm not scared of being on big stages let me it's weird I, i'm i was more nervous battling than, really than, than i am performing on stage oh, maybe it's just a thing of, i've done a lot of performances i'm used to i still True. get nervous going on performances yeah don't get me wrong but um but you've battled a lot i wouldn't no? say i have i wouldn't say i have oh. I, I i would like a few more notches on the belt i don't okay. think i battled enough um, interesting but yeah i think maybe because it's not just a crumb battle as well. There's the all style element. True. And not just it being all style, like the type of music that you can get is like so varied. Because there's there's an all style battle. It's like, cool, I'm going to get, I know I'm going to get a popping track. Yeah. I'm going to get a house yeah, track. Yeah. I'm going to get a hip hop the track. The underground all styles battles yeah, are way different musically. Yeah. yeah. And then, like, <clears throat> I love Last Last. I love that song. But when I got it, I was like, oh, man. <laughs> Oh man! Which way? Like, which song was that? Um, Burner Boy, Last Last. Oh now yeah, everybody yeah. got your breakfast. <laughs> oh, yeah. I was like, I love it. But yeah, but it's different did, to dance. Like, yeah. yeah, it's almost. I, I find sometimes when I really know a song, it's even harder to dance to because it's like, it, it's like I know it so well that it's almost like paralyzing. Like, well, what do yeah. I do to? I know every notch on this yeah. musicalities, but how do I even yeah. start to approach that? Yeah. Whereas if you don't know a song, you're just like, I just got to do what comes yep. naturally, you know. Yep. Nah, yeah, hundred percent. Do you yeah. find it's an experience that makes you want to come back next year? Do I definitely think... will come back next year. Yeah, if I'm free to do it, I'll definitely come back. Yes, it's, it's it's a good experience. I want to battle more. Sick. Um, opportunity to go abroad, like I'm. Ah, uh, boy, I'm so happy yeah. for K man. Yeah, I'm yeah, so man. happy for him. Um, especially at his age as well. To get this opportunity is yeah, dope. Man. Like yeah. all all there is is growth from this. So yeah, I'm I'm happy for him yeah. so much. Yeah, he's, yeah, I think he's gonna come back like different yeah, 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 <laughs> it's gonna yeah, like yeah. change his perspective on Definitely. everything he's probably just gonna not want to battle in the uk ever again <laughs> he's gonna be oh, I need i'm to the best <laughs> I'm, I'm going there i'm going there there's a battle in the uk yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. we'll be lucky to see kane after this yeah. <laughs> amazing but bro i thought you did really good today man Thank i you, man. really I enjoyed your right i always enjoy watching you i, I swear maybe it's just because i've paid attention when you have battled but i in my head i feel like i've seen you battle a lot but maybe it's not loads um but yeah, definitely love to see you in more All Styles battles. I think even if we don't know all the intricacies of Crump, it's still like, it's such a nice addition to have. And mm -hmm. I always tell people, especially if I'm training with them, but like with popping and hip hop and stuff, I'm like, watch Crumpers and watch like Vogas and Whackers. Cause I think those three is like, you guys know how to like build around, how to perform, how to mm. like stay in, like you said, like bring the audience into your world, which I think sometimes we get lost in. Mm. in so I think it's the, it's the character element of, of those styles that, yeah. um, that is a core element of it as well. Whereas I think other styles do have, you can have your character, sure. but it's not, it's not a, I don't think it's a core element in most styles. Exactly. It's, it's not like, like part of it. You're never, it's just, if you choose to have a character, yeah, exactly. cool. But I think like in Crump, it's like, you need to have that, like that, yeah, you have to have your character. That's, that's like a part of the backbone. Yeah. yeah. I mean, and we, I think we can see it and it, it's always nice having that in the, in the area. <laughs> but yeah. yeah, thanks so much for coming through, man. Um, yeah, love what you do. And yeah, I think you killed it today. And Thank if people you, get to see the footages, footages, if people get to see the footage, then they will definitely agree. <laughs> but Appreciate catch you it, soon. Man. Bless. Thanks, bro. Thank you for having me on. Anytime. Yee, first time on the thing. Hey, Yee. let's go. Hey, we should do um, an Outliers interview. Uh, let's, set that up, let's set that up. Uh, but you got to pick your top three. Top three Outliers? Yeah, because we're going to only do four mics. <laughs> I'll, run it, I'll run it by the group. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll run it by the group. Pick the delegation. Well, there's who there's, wants there's, to there's speak. the three founders. There's me, Jordan, and Claire. There you go. Sick. All right, peace, bro. All right, Thanks. bless. What are you yeah. saying, big man, dude? What? Whoa, yeah, it's yeah. a big man with the, with the champion team working on the job, yeah? Media, you see that? Yellow thing there and that. 
If you don't know this man sitting next to me, it may be because you're not a regular capsule viewer. Well, go on. But this is Mr. Abe, one of my closest and longest friends. Um, he's not a long friend. He's just one of my <laughs> friends for the longest. I have longer friends who have like long arms yeah. and stuff. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so we thought we'd just wrap the day with a little capsule check-in. Yes. Um, because Abe's been busy. He's been working on a theatre show, yeah. which is just premiering at Regent's Park Open Air Theatre. And the name of it is... Antigone. What a... What a bad friend. He doesn't know the name of I it. I know the name. Yeah. I just I know the name of it. I just, oh. burp, 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 burp. I just lay up and slam dunk. Auntie no, I'm gone. joking. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> Let me just put these there in case anyone hadn't seen my shoes there. Oh, sorry. How yeah. disrespectful I did that by accident. Disrespect. I'm so sorry. It was just they an are, accident. They're worth it. They're worth it. This is like a mini episode of The Capsule. <laughs> if you like what you're seeing now, tune Check in every week. Check out The Capsule, yeah. Because we yeah. will be doing this more often. Um, but yeah, so you've been here watching. I've been mostly interviewing. Mm. Um, I didn't get to see all the battles. I saw most of the first rounds. Yeah. Um, but how? what's That's your take good, on That's good, because I only saw the second from round the second onwards, onwards. Yeah, yeah. cool um yeah how have you enjoyed the day what's been going on what are you feeling like yeah it's lovely man i mean red bull events are always great no matter what they put their name to it's yeah. always fun times yeah um the audience was really responsive today yeah, which they was were really which happy. is amazing yeah i think it's definitely a blessing that the uh the weather stayed nice yes. the sun was out yes. so it kind of enables the audience to be not miserable yeah 100 <laughs> percent. it was Chuck a block I got here and it was like Packed. I can't see the if you stage. had to estimate how many people were here oh I'm terrible at guessing but um, I thought yeah no I'm terrible at guessing but I will say a few hundred at least oh 300, more 500? than that 10 million a thousand you reckon there's a thousand people here today yeah fair there might be yeah it's it, I mean it'd, it'd be, be interesting it could to be 57 it could be 57 know. yeah no it'd be interesting to see like if they had a head count because of like the towels or anything like that like if they could oh, be like we gave out the bandanas you mean bandanas the towels, yeah. you know <laughs> well, i didn't get to see them up close that's how late i came oh, yeah fair, the bandanas fair, fair, fair. um yeah it'd be interesting to see how many the host was amazing Dwayne. i don't know who the host is Dwayne, Dwayne. Yeah, yeah we had it we interviewed him yeah he's flipping incredible yeah he's a he's a dancer he said he's retired mm. um but yeah, he's a dancer he does a lot of hosting for like udo stuff like that okay but, um, yeah, yeah i like really his energy man charismatic guy. yeah 100 percent. not didn't force anything seemed very authentic yeah uh had the crowd rocking so that was good amazing. um omni did amazing um i was very happy for him yeah obviously i'm a big fan of camille so yeah, yeah, it was good to see her well. dance. Um, it did feel very much, which it should be, you win the crowd, the win the, ha the crowd's heart then, and they rock with you, then yeah. you've probably won the battle. Which is um, usually separate, because it's usually like you win the crowd's heart and then you also have to win the judges. Yeah. But the crowd of the judges. You know, I'm right. you know, I'm right. <laughs> um, It was also interesting seeing like, especially on the two round, I don't know if they did two rounds for the first. Uh, I think, yeah, I think it yeah. was two rounds. Uh, could be. Wrong, but it was but interesting to see like pa people pacing themselves throughout the tournament. Uh, the, what do you call it? It's like someone would, especially in Omni and Kane's battle. Yeah. Omni, I felt, started, no. Kane started off with the crowd on his side. He had the crowd behind him. And it Omni took it. Seesawed. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Seesawed. All of that was yeah, flipping yeah, yeah. amazing. And then good music at the end with the DJs. I loved and it, man. You know, I love with the crowd as well. It's like, as a judge for this type of thing, you're trying to stay unbiased, right? Yeah. You're trying to not get swept up in emotion. Yeah. You're trying to not let the the wow moments cloud your judgment. Yeah. It, as an audience member here, you're like, just I'm fully let, yeah, let me just get yeah. swept up in anything. <laughs> Do something that grabs me. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, so 100%. you're just open and you're not really picking sides. You're not really like trying to go too deep into it you're just like i'm gonna I like enjoy you exactly yeah. and then if you do something i know i like you yeah. <laughs> it's almost like a dog it's very yeah. fickle yeah who's got the squeaky toy yeah. Whoa, whoa. Yeah. oh no you no you did a backflip yeah, yeah and no, even 100%. like the crazy thing is this is not a uh, it's not a statement about people that don't dance because i felt like that today yes i was like oh i don't have to focus i'm just like let me just enjoy what you, i enjoy yeah, it's really 100%. interesting to to view dance through this lens that lens yeah, yeah. and can i saw i was chilling downstage and quite a few fans went up to Camilla and one of them like I think a few of them were being very specific about what they liked oh, amazing. about her dance and she was saying oh it's really amazing that they're so specific and they have these moments and it's like yeah as a non-dancer if someone does something that speaks to you 
you're going to remember that one moment. Yeah. Oh, I loved it when you did this. That made me feel like this or that made me feel like that. Yeah. And it's st stuff that we take for granted, you know. Um, Especially when you see, imagine see, like we're around definitely the highest level dancers in the country. Yeah. Sometimes we're around some of the highest level dancers in the world. Yeah. And if that becomes your norm, yes. any one moment of that isn't, not that it's not amazing because it is, and I, I think we're all still very appreciative of what we get to be around. But mm. if you're used to seeing that every day, it is like it's like um, being like an Olympic level sprinter. Like yeah. you're used to fast people. You get desensitized <laughs> yeah, to it. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So when you're like this, it's like these people are probably seeing stuff and they're like, this is maybe- What the hell is this? One of the only times they're gonna see dance, especially this style and this on this level. For sure, man. You know, and it's not something that's like all over TV, like if it was like a, a rap open mic thing. It's like, you don't- it, You need to be in the know to see exactly. this type of stuff. And just to piggyback off of that, if you think about the first time we saw dance that spoke to us like that as a, as a non-dancer, the level back then was, compared to now is so huge. So yeah. if you've never seen anything like this and you've come down and that's what you're getting. Yeah. That's fucking amazing. amazing. Yeah, 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 100%. Um, yeah, bro, I mean, we could definitely do this all day, but let's um, keep it short and sweet yes. so we can wrap. Um, do check out The Capsule. We have a weekly podcast. This man is one of my co-hosts, one of my amazing co-hosts. Um, we, yeah, every week we're on YouTube, we're on Spotify, we're on Apple Music, we're on Google Podcasts, we're on all the audio platforms. Um, you can follow us on Instagram at, at thecapsule.ldn. Um, you can check out Abe at Regent's Park Open Air Theatre. And yeah, man, um, thanks for wrapping this up with me. I'm glad to have you here. Thanks for having me. Nice little little, little full circle moment little to have full, a little yeah. capsule wrap. Um, but yeah, thanks everyone for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed it. Check out all the amazing dancers. Thank you for Red Bull for having us here. Thank you to Champion for also having us here. Um, and yeah, amazing stuff all day. You have something else to say? Yeah, if you want to see amazing videography, photography, and style and fashion, and just an all-round beautiful face, check out Duke London on It would be Instagram. hilarious if you said someone else. After that. <laughs> I was just prepping myself to like get the compliment, and you're like, check out Lee Putman. <laughs> like, oh. Damn it! Why did I do that, man? <laughs> that, oh. That's why I didn't overplay it, because I was it's like, been too might... long. It's been too long. I haven't been with you for so long that I'm not... Oh, yeah, all right, fair enough. Yeah, no, check out Duke London. Um, amazing guy. Right. Thanks, guys. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Uh, do subscribe to the channel if you like what you see. And yeah, like the videos, comment, tell us who you liked. Um, go, and yeah, definitely go and check out all the dancers because they're all amazing. Um, thanks, guys. Bye. See you later.